Good morning. Good morning. And other dignitaries who yeah, have yeah. joined this uh, platform. Sir, we shall so start. Time, yeah, yeah. At what time you will start? Right Just now, two, three minutes, sir. Okay. Just two, three minutes. Okay. Very good morning, Ricardo, sir, from Mexico. And good evening to you. Ricardo, sir. Can you hear me? Very good morning, Ricardo, sir, from Mexico. Hello, everyone. Hello. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. We are you are audible. You are audible. Oh, okay. I'm First of all, from University of Poland. Yeah. Yes. Th thank you very much. I want to congratulate on the uh, symposium on behalf of Aztec University. We are proud yeah. to be part of this. We are actually very enthusiastic to be part of this research program a symposium. Yeah. This is Dr. Savera from Aztec University uh, worldwide system is no it's not only a mexican university actually we are international university system we present in different countries from mexico city to the world we want to say hi and we want to encourage research to all the faculty students and scholars hello dr pique paul hello uh, faculty hello authorities dr savera director and chair international programs thank you sir so we shall start the program. We shall start the program. Sonia, madam. Yes, sir. Yes, we uh, want to wish we want to wish the best to all the presenters and and and, and the conferences and the research 
um, papers has been presented, they're awesome. We're really proud to be part of this international endeavor. Thank you so much to include Aztec University, and we look forward to be present. Uh, actually, I'm going to be in India, hopefully, in three months. We're going to have some some conferences. Uh, we'll, I will take the time to visit the Trinivas, Trinivas University, in which we are working properly and, and very close. Uh, thank you, Dr. P.K. Paul. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chancellor, um, Vice Chancellor, and all the authorities. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And, uh, I'll be around. And Dr. P.K. Paul, uh, I have to run, but I want to wish the best to all the presenters and all the speakers and, and everybody. And I want to say hi to authorities, Sushmiva, and everybody online. Thank you, sir. Thank let's, you so much. Let, let's begin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Sonia, madam, please proceed. Yes, sir. Very good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. So finally, we have uh, reached to the date we have been eagerly waiting for. That is February 11th. And we have our international symposium on IPR and research methods organized by Srinivas University of Bangalore in association with Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology, KSCST, Government of Karnataka, and Azteca University. So now we are going to have a wonderful, knowledgeable two-day session wherein definitely all the researchers across the world are going to share their knowledge in this particular podium. I now call upon our director and convener, ISA PARM 2023, Dr. P.K. Paul, Chief Advisor, Research Planning and Innovative Program, Srinivas University, Karnataka, and our organizing secretary, Madam, uh, Dr. Shishri Viti, Research Professor, Institute of Management and Commerce, Srinivas University, Karnataka, India, to kindly take over. Over to you, sir, and ma'am. A oh, very good morning. Uh, good afternoon and uh, good evening to all the virtual participants uh, here. I'm Dr. Shailishri, the research professor at Srinivas University and the organizing secretary of ISI Perm 2023, uh, is most privileged to introduce the international symposium to each of you. This is, symposium is uh, jointly organized by the Srinivas University, Mangalore, ISM, Aztica University, Mexico, and the Karnataka State Council of Science and Technology. Now, the theme of this con uh, symposium is very, very rele relevant in the present day scenario. Uh, it would be covering the basics of the intellectual property rights and the research methods, which is very much suited to a beginner in research as well as a seasoned researcher. Uh, Seven keynote addresses by renowned speakers is organized for the day, followed by parallel pa paper presentation sessions tomorrow. The symposium has uh, received uh, overwhelming response from the dynamic research community, and I wish all of the learners here a happy online learning. Thank you. So over to you, P.K. Paul. Oh, thank you. So thank you, madam. So I, on behalf of uh, uh, the director and convener of East Param 20, 2023, I welcome all the dignitaries present over here in this, this online platform. First of all, my uh, sincere thanks to Professor P. S. Aithal and the chancellor of the uh, and also chancellor of the university, pro chancellor of the university uh, of Srinivas, and uh, the director, uh, Research and Innovation Council. Uh, Professor Praveen, uh, the organizing secretary, uh, Sailasri Madam, the co-organizing secretary of this event, Professor Sonia, all the coordinators of this uh, event, Dr. Niaz, uh, Dr. Kirtan Raj Madam, and uh, Dr. Professor Amit Sir, and uh, my uh, sincere thanks to all the advisors, those who are uh, helping uh, this international symposium from different parts of the globe. I must mention the international advisor since it is international symposium. We have the fortunate of international uh, advisor from the France, from USA, from Bangladesh, from uh, Mexico, from Saudi Arab, 
from Nepal, from Sri Lanka, and different other countries. We have the advisory board. We respect their advices they received from time to time from this international symposium. And it's a very good uh, thought that uh, we thought uh, this symposium just one month before, and uh, we received a, a good number of response for the paper presentation. We have received total 103 paper uh, for this multidisciplinary paper presentation. And uh, out of which uh, we have, mm, uh, we have selected 60 paper for the presentation. Today is the only keynote and um, uh, invited speaker session. Today we have seven keynote and invited speaker session. But uh, uh, tomorrow we have a paper presentation slot in four digital track, four digital halls. And that will be uh, supported by four session chairs in, and their support from four coordinators. So our congratulations to all the new researchers and faculty members for showing their research interest and for tomorrow and today for the, all the dignitaries. I offer my sincere thanks to the speakers, Professor um, uh, Sushil Sharma is present um, here, who is from United States. I, there is a evening time now, late night. So still uh, is from his busy schedule, Sir is having with us. We have Professor P. S. Eichel sir as a speaker. We have J. K. Mondol sir. We have Nagarjun M. G. We have uh, Professor Krishna Prasad K. We have Bivet Anand Sagar. So total uh, this number of uh, uh, in total this number of speaker will show their knowledge to the dignitaries and to the newcomers of the researcher. I am sure since all the PhD degree holders and all the newcomers of the researcher needs to be learned the research methodology, this international symposium will be suitable. And we must acknowledge Sri Omiyo Kumar Kalidhav sir, who is going to be a chief guest of this uh, session. He is from the Department of Science and Technology and Biotechnology, Government of West Bengal, and he is the senior scientific officer. So we also welcome sir, in this online platform, from your busy schedule, you have find to give your knowledge to the community. My sincere thanks also goes to Professor Sushil Sarma sir. Though we already aware about Sarma sir uh, last symposium, but that time sir was in Ball State University USA. Right now sir changed his uh, uh, position from uh, the Dean to Associate Provost of Texas A&M University, Texarkana. Welcome you sir, Sushil sir. So, with this, uh, with this, I am concluding my this speech, and I am uh, thankful to the listeners, those who are listening from different part of the globe. We have received total 300 registration, and people are watching in YouTube also, apart from this uh, Google Meet. So I am thankful on behalf of the organizing committee of different universities, and also thanks much goes to Karnataka uh, State Council for Science and Technology for their help and also director research and council of Srinivas University and Astrika University authorities, their director and other authorities. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Now I would like to request uh, uh, Dr. Niyas to start the national anthem of India during this process. Please stand up uh, this uh, in respect of the national anthem. Thank you. मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड पुत्र बंका हिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जगति तरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे
So now I would like to request the patron of EC Prem 2023 and also Honorable Vice Chancellor of Srinivas University to say a few words as a wishing message in this online platform. So what do you say? Yes, I can sir. Over to you. Yeah. Good morning. Good day. Greetings from Srinivas University, Mangalore. Honorable Chancellor of Srinivas University, Dr. C.A.A. Raghavendra Raoji. Honorable Pro Chancellor of Srinivas University, Dr. Srinivas Raoji. Our collaborators uh, from Azteca University, Mexico. Collaborators from Karnataka State Council of Science and Technology, Bangalore. Uh, Professor J.K. Mandal from Kalyan University, our uh, international chief guest, Professor Dr. Sushil Kumar Sharma uh, from Texas, E&M University, Texas, USA, the convener of the conference, Dr. P.K. Paul from Rai Ganji University, West Bengal, India. Other dignitaries of this uh, inaugural session of uh, International Symposium on IPR and Research Methods who are present in this uh, platform and all uh, the participants who are the uh, research paper presenters. Uh, plenary session speakers, keynote speakers, and contributed paper presenters, as well as uh, the research community who are joined with us through YouTube uh, link. So I'm very happy to be part of this uh, international symposium on IPR and research methods through this uh, online platform. The pandemic corona provided an opportunity to us to think globally and to transform the earlier uh, model of international conferences which were physical mode conferences into online mode so that we are progressing towards the ideal model of uh, organizing conferences. In the physical conferences, there were a lot of constraints, resource constraints, time constraints, then energy constraints, which were solved by means of this new innovative model of organizing international conferences through online digital mode. Ideally, a conference should provide an opportunity to interact all interested people irrespective of their region, religion, their community and subjects. But physical conferences had a lot of restrictions of managing resources, lot of restrictions of managing resources. We had to plan six months to uh, four, four months to six months uh, in advance to organize an international conference. And inviting experts like uh, uh, Professor Dr. Sushil Kumar was uh, only the dream before COVID-19. But now, through this kind of collaboration, we can identify right people and we can invite them from their countries, their places, their universities. So through this digital online platform called Ubiquitous Platform, we are all joined together and interacting each other, collaborating each other, which is the boon of technology. In the 20th century, we never thought of this kind of innovations. But in 21st century, we have improved the collaboration and conference symposium system towards ideal 
conference model so similarly in all other areas also in business in technology and even in teaching learning process we have adopted online models online methods so that uh, now learning became ubiquitous we can use super professors from any corner of the world to teach and learn and share the knowledge skills and experience so this is as i said the boon of the technology and the perception of the people who accepted this model so acceptance of new model based on technology by the society is also very important and our covid though it is a uh, uh, it is a bane for the entire society's development but it uh, provided certain advantages like accepting technology and accepting new model of various uh, services uh, to be uh, given to the customers so uh, in this uh, international conference we are discussing about ipr and research methods we have invited many experts who are going to uh, give their keynote address uh, to the to our research community and uh, they will enhance the knowledge and skills related to creating ipr by knowing why ipr is important and how ipr can be created so we have an eminent uh, many eminent keynote speakers in which two of them whom i am uh, i am able to see now is one is dr j k mandal as well as uh, dr sushil kumar sharma both of them have created huge amount of ipr intellectual property rights through their scholarly publications they have attracted huge number of citations uh, uh, to uh, uh, know the quality of their publications and i am sure that our researcher community who are present here through online ubiquitously are able to consider them as role models and they should also uh, do research and contribute to the society's development through their research you should identify futuristic problems solve them through innovative research methodologies and give optimum solutions to the research problems and take it to, to the society through uh, open access publications so that by holding the copyright or ipr in your name so one of the purpose of purposes of your uh, research outcome to some mediator's hand for their commu commercial activities so our researchers should be smart enough to use the internet technology and uh, publication platforms to keep the ipr including copyright or patent in their name instead of uh, some mediator's name so that they should have freedoms with the entire globe their life and and uh, i am sure that uh, the uh, proceedings of this uh, international symposium on ipr and research methods will give some ideas about uh, how to keep the ipr in their name and how to use new research methodologies new research methods to fulfill the objective of research that is uh, there are five research skills we have identified which i will discuss in my keynote speech so that uh, the entire society entire humanity should get the benefit of their research with this uh, i uh, thank the organizer as well as i thank all the speakers who are going to motivate our researchers by means of their uh, sharing their experience uh, about their research on uh, the topics identified in this uh, international symposium i thank everyone uh, and also i thank uh, to give this opportunity to me to part of this inaugural session as well as uh, the remaining sessions i heard that uh, there are seven plenary uh, keynote speeches uh, today uh, related to uh, this uh, 
the themes of the international symposium and uh, there are uh, 60 uh, contributed and invited talks uh, uh, which will be presented on uh, three parallel sessions plus one parallel sessions uh, session tomorrow uh, i am sure that this uh, team will help all indian researchers to contribute to their institution because all institutions higher education institutions are struggling to get a better rank in their NAC. And uh, the participation certificate in this IPR and research methodology conference or symposium will give some additional marks to their institution. So everyone will be winners. So that this is a this is going to be a positive sum game. So with this, I thank everyone uh, for maintaining the time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable inputs and encouragement throughout the process. And I am sure uh, during this uh, your session, we will learn a lot of things. So once again, thanks or on behalf of organizing committee of ECPRAM 2023. Now we'll have uh, two uh, few words from the director, uh, Research and Innovation Council, uh, Professor Prabhin, sir. Uh, that is there. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, Honorable our uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, P.S. Aital, sir, and P.K. Paul, sir, and other dignitaries from uh, national and international committees. So, it is a good initiative. This has happened in our university. That is because of our uh, vibrant uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. P.S. Aital, sir, along with him, uh, Dr. Paul, has uh, in his uh, work. I am very happy. So, uh, around 60 papers are uh, contributing today and very good uh, sessions are there. All of uh, our uh, college uh, students also will go to join to this uh, event in YouTube. So, I am thankful to the organizers for giving this opportunity and uh, congratulations and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your uh, motivation and it is due to your motivation we are able to conduct six sessions tomorrow and also today seven uh, sessions. So, we, we will have uh, Dr. Prodipto Das as a plenary session chair, he is going to join now. And uh, now uh, we are uh, in a stage of uh, vote of thanks. So now I would like to request uh, uh, Professor uh, Kirtan Raj, Madam. She is the Dean of Institute of Management of Commerce, Dean of Institute of Management of Commerce, and also coordinator of this international symposium. Madam, over to you. A very good day to all the dignitaries gathered on the online mode. I would like gratitude is the voice of the soul. And I would like to place on record my sincere gratitude to all the various honorary committees, organizing committees, international advisors, and the organizing members who have made this international symposium on intellectual property rights and research methods possible. At the outset, I would like to place my, on record my gratitude to chief patrons of ISI PARM, Dr. C. A. A. Raghavendra Rao, Chancellor Srinivas University, and Dr. Jose Augustin Lopez Gonzalez, Rector and Chancellor, Azdika University, Mexico. Our patrons, Dr. A. Srinivas Rao, Pro Chancellor, Srinivas University, Dr. P. S. Aital, Vice Chancellor, Srinivas University, Srimati S. Mitra A. Rao, Secretary A. Shama Rao Foundation and Dr. Anil Kumar, Registrar, Srinivas University. Our co-patrons, Dr. Praveen BM, Director, Research and Innovation Council, Srinivas University, and Dr. Ricardo Savidra, Chair and Director, International Program, Aztecca University, Mexico, who have taken time to address in this inaugural session. We have a wonderful panel of keynote speakers, and the chief guest is Sri Amiya Kumar Kalida today, uh, who will brief us and advise us on various in innovations in the field of intellectual property rights and research methods. I would like to thank the keynote speakers as well, Sri Amiya Kumar Kalida, Dr. Sushil Kumar, Dr. Sushil Sharma, Dr. P.S. Aital, Dr. J.K. Mandal, Mr. Nagarjuna M.G., Dr. Krishna Prasad K., Mr. Vivek Anand Sagar. I would fail in my duty if I were not to thank uh, the director and convener of ISIPARM 2023, Dr. P.K. Poy, the chief, the chief advisor, research planning and innovative program 
uh, without his initiative, I think none of us have been together today and tomorrow for oh, these two days of wonderful interactions. Thank you, sir. I would also like to thank the organizing secretary, Dr. Shailesh Sriviti, the co-organizing secretary, Dr. Sonia Narona, the other two members on the coordinators panel, Dr. Niyas Panagar. A sincere thanks to all of you who have met here today across time zones, and I'm sure these two days will be a wonderful learning for all of us. Thank you all. And uh, with this, I hand over the session to Dr. P.K. Paul. Thank you, madam, for your words. And I'm sure, as you said, this day will be very fruitful for the knowledge lovers. So now, without wasting time, sir, as a late night there, Professor Sushil Sarma, sir, I will welcome him as a keynote speaker of this, uh, uh, this international symposium. Since all we know about Sarma, sir, but it's a ritual to say a few words about sir. Professor Sushil Sarma is an associate provost in Texas A&M University, Texas Kana United States. Sir has specialization in computer and information systems and management information systems. Before joining this institute, Sir has done about 25 years of administrative leadership and 30 years of experience in higher education. Sir has excellence in Ball State University, United States before joining this institute. Sir has become a uh, different position from time to time, like Sir conducted uh, his role as a chair of the Department of Information Systems and Operation Management from 2028 to 2020 and executive director for MBA program and certificate program also for the Ball State University. Sir has contributed more than 15 books and more than 100 referred research paper and various reputed international journals. Sir has published 66 referred chapters in the books and more than 175 international conferences. Sir is one of the ranked researcher in business information systems. Previously, Sir also worked at Indian Institute of Management Lucknow, which is one of the renowned management school in the world as associate professor. Then Sir, sir, then sir went to University of Waterloo, Canada and then sir started his different capacity in different institutes all over the world. So we are fortunate enough for his academic support and also moral support, which I normally received every day from sir. So I personally also offer my sincere thanks, apart from organizing, uh, apart from this uh, organizing event, I personally uh, offer my sincere thanks and gratitude to Professor Sushil Sarma sir uh, on this uh, platform on behalf of the Srinivas University and also being a fellow of Astaka University also from the Astaka University sir. I am sure this Karnataka State Council, State and Council approved and collaborated event will fruitful from your learning. So thank you sir for giving your time and from being late night also you just wait to share your knowledge. So different audience are waiting for your uh, knowledge and skill in online platform, especially YouTube, apart from this Google Meet. So welcome to you, sir, and, and over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, very good morning to everyone. Dr. Paul, organizing team, Dr. Sri Ramans, and all the distinguished personalities. Uh, it's a... Uh, pleasure for me to get connected with such event because uh, this gives us an opportunity to share our thoughts. I have been um, in multiple different countries, worked there, lived there. And whenever such events takes place, it uh, enthuses, it energizes as the academicians uh, for such conferences and this conference or this symposium is very relevant for two reasons. One is that intellectual property rights are becoming a hot area and they are becoming more relevant because people are doing research world over. 
Now, being with the background of technology, I would I thought of uh, framing my presentation to highlight first what's going on world over about the technology. Where are we today? And where are we going to be in the next five years or 10 years? And then use those to invoke some research ideas. In fact, each of the slides which I prepared should be able to offer an opportunity to all the participants to do research. There are different types of research that you can do. So let me begin my presentation if I'm able to share my... and the future ahead. So this is the, the main word which you may be hearing nowadays, that digital dis disruptions are creating not only the impact on the society, but also to do the business differently. And each of these digital disruptions offer opportunities for researchers. Just to give you a quick example, look at the disruption. WhatsApp, I mean, people say nowadays, all these social media platforms, they have not remained just ent info entertainment, but they have gone beyond that. Search and have number of uh, research where I'm saying that since I walk every day, maybe four to five miles, and one of the way I track my exercise is smartphone. So I have an app there. And that app tells me how many miles I have walked. But also it tells me during the time what was my heart rate, uh, what was my blood pressure. So all those different parameters related to my health. Think of when we go to physician, when we visit the doctor, maybe once in three months, once in six months. They take uh, that, uh, on that particular day, they take some of those, uh, you know, the measures. Oh, that day your blood pressure was this, your heart rate was this, your pulse rate was this. And based on that, they give you some suggestion or some diagnosis or some prescriptions. So nowadays my study is that if I have a full control, and if I can take care of my data related to my health on my smartphone, and these are not only one uh, data point over three months or six months, but maybe thousands points, probably I can build the pattern of how I'm doing myself without even going to the doctor. I can control my health much better. So these digital disruption, each of these which I have highlighted in this slide, provides a tremendous opportunity for the researchers to do research and people are already doing and um, impact on the society. But also once you do the research, that gives you an opportunity for your intellectual property rights. The moment these digital disruptions happen, when I say uh, there are opportunity, there are opportunity for the researcher who wants to work on the technology side, design side, development side. There are opportunity for the researcher who want to do research on the business side. There are opportunity to the researchers to do about the different standards evolving, different regulations. Uh, there are opportunity for the researchers to do uh, the research in, uh, in the impact on the society, the culture, the mindset, the habits. Uh, so all these are the potential area to do research. And as these digital disruptions take place, there's always a change of mentality, new way of working, new markets, different way of dealing with customer. Basically all this uh, is 
an opportunity for you to do research, research, and research. This is the world we are living. Wherever you are, whichever part of the world you are, what you need is just one gadget. It could be a laptop or it could be a smartphone and everything. You are connected with the worldwide resources and that's, that's the life. So our life now, our social world, our community world, our personal world, our professional world, all are getting integrated into a, these gadgets and through various apps or the software tools that we are using every day. Look at how we have traveled. We have started from mainframe and today we are using those uh, smartphones which are more powerful than the computers. I used way back when I was in the undergraduate program in mid 70s. Um, they were completely different. And now we are getting into more super computer smartphone or gadgets with almost supercomputing power available to us. Now there's a new term technology. Now you must have heard of RFID and supply chain, which mean store like Walmart or anyone else, while they make any commitments to their customers for any of the product, they can make a real-time commitment based on the products which are carrying these RFID tags. And when they are in transportation, they can exactly estimate when they will arrive, how much time they will take to unload it. In fact, some of these RFID technologies are evoking another kind of research. Now think of some of these gadgets with RFID tags. They exist in your homes. I had another interest to do my research and with some of my co-authors. Will it uh, uh, get into our privacy? Will the people know what kind of products I'm using? Because they are uh, collecting all this information on 24-7 basis. In fact, some of these are integrated with smart buildings, smart homes, where as soon as the inventory of certain items go down, it automatically have a capability to place an order. Cloud computing has become now the common phenomena. In 80s and 90s, the organization used to have uh, these all hardware and software stocked in their own organization. Now everything is in cloud computing. This itself is a huge area to do research. How could you exploit this cloud computing for not only your professional, but even for your personal or even for social? Anything you see, Facebook, all everything is on cloud, right? Edge computing. People are saying that in some of the uh, countries, this communication channels to send the data and download the data to cloud may take uh, more time or it may be a bottleneck. Why not we get into the edge computing, which means get down from cloud to the edge. So make that processing power available at the edge so that you don't have to uh, compromise or you don't have to uh, have any deficiencies of communication channels or high computing power. Internet of Things. Look at how many opportunities it is providing. Internet IoT. Um, nowadays, if you have a, you know, in many of the U.S. airports you go, um, earlier we used to go and if I had to park my car uh, on the parking uh, area, I have to circle a number of floor where there is a spot available. Nowadays, when you go right, it tells me fourth floor, 13th uh, spot is available. Same way the trash cans. You know, in city uh, services, when they come to pick up the trash cans, and some of the time the trash can can be filled even before that, it knows exactly where is that, where are the trash cans which are filled, and the city services can uh, come and collect it. All this is becoming possible because IoT. So because of IoT and AI to combine, you have now these smart smart systems. With the Industry 4.0, which itself is a huge area to do research, uh, and there are a lot of researchers worldwide, they are seeing even the, the impact of Industry 
uh, on the education, impact of industry 4.0 on the society, impact of industry 4.0 on the organizations. So each of these areas will evoke the research. Smart homes, when some of these smart homes, are, um, all of us we have nowadays, that when you walk in one room, when a person of one kind walks in a room, um, you know, the father walks in a room, it plays a different music. The son walks in the room, it plays a different music. Or even the wall painting, it changes the wall painting. If I'm using WhatsApp because it works on Wi-Fi, and then, oh, Wi-Fi signals are not good, I'm not able to do. Li-Fi, where the whole internet connection you get through these light points, again, this will change the speeds of connectivity uh, tremendously. Again, these are the area to do research. And if you take these initiative at the upfront, uh, you have the early advantage. Your kids, any particular city or museum, anything, there are apps built in so they can feel as if they are walking in the museum. And it is a real, I mean, they, their feelings are as if it is real. And we are using now for our students, there are headsets mounted. Not only they can see virtually everything and have a tour of that, but they can even make their interventions in terms of augmented reality. Now, many of the medical students nowadays are using for their surgeries and others. They can really get the experience so good before they become the doctors. Chat GPT is a huge thing using the natural language processing. In fact, this is also a danger. If any student wants to write a paper and professor asks to write a paper, this tool can just write the paper, best paper. You simply have to say, you know, the topic. And the next moment in a half an hour or one hour, you'll have the best paper cited all through the world and make it available. It already has some of those AI tools built into this. Artificial brain implant. In fact, I write some of these fictional pieces when I'm saying, uh, what happened if Dr. Google chip is blended or embedded into your brain? Ask any question and it will answer. How would you know this is the intellect part, the natural intellect, or it is those chips which are already embedded into brain? So tomorrow, what is the need to go to the colleges and universities? People can buy these chips and become experts. Brain-computer interface. And these prototypes already are available in many of these labs. Lifelike virtual assistants. In fact, already many of you must be using. My wife, uh, you know, when I go to office, and right early morning, she starts uh, calling, Alexa, play bhajan. Alexa, do this. Tell me how much is the temperature. Alexa, tell me, is it going to rain today? Are become part of our life. Again, there are a lot of researchers doing a work how these virtual assistants are changing our life for good or for bad, collecting a lot of data. Artificial intelligence is becoming now, they are taking over. In fact, as I mentioned, something like this, this was the humanoid where, you know, the, the at Seoul airport, the person was trying to serve to clean the floor, just set the Roomba on through Alexa and Roomba works. And after finishing work, automatically goes back to its pod. We are also seeing some of the researchers are doing work. Hypersonic airliners could enter into the service, which is going to be five times the speed of the sound. So maybe from one continent to another continent, this will be a journey in hours. Again, you have an opportunity to do research. Carbon nanotubes. So nowadays I'm <clears throat> there are also prototypes. You go and buy the fabrics or buy the clothes, which have all the sensors built. So as I was saying, smartphone giving you all the medical health by tracking your health. Carbon, these nanotubes built in the uh, fabric do the same thing. Jetta scale supercomputer. They are coming very soon. 3D printing, everybody knows that we are now getting a lot of uh, manufacturing done using 3D printing. But now people are already in Indiana where I work culture environment with a different time zone. 
we have to maintain balance between our work life because it may create a lot of stress since we are almost on 24-7 basis. Continuously changing expectations. The work which I was doing three months back, I was asked to do a different work. Place is becoming a global workplace. Organizations are becoming flatter and that's where it requires the styles of 21st century. Again, bringing back to, you may do a research whether descriptive type or analytical type. I'm sure in the next these two days, many of other speakers would be describing how they have done a lot of research using these different methods. Fact-finding investigation versus testing hypothesis. Applied versus fundamental research. Quantitative versus qualitative research. And each has complete details. So this is a very timely uh, symposium. My best wishes for the international symposium. Uh, as I mentioned, that this is a very interesting topic. That this, this may invoke, uh, you know, a lot of research ideas uh, to think. On one hand, much of these virtual assistants and virtual humans will make your life easier because, as I said, that you don't have to clean, uh, uh, to do cleaning at your home. You don't have to, uh, you know, put the light on on yourself. Everything is done through just one command, which is a voice. On other hand, it creates a lot of other concerns, a lot of other issues. So Industry 5.0 is a little scary, uh, enjoyable, uh, but at the same time, it's going to be a challenge how we make those lifestyle changes. Thank you, sir. Any questions from the audience from this Google Meet platform? Okay. I generally would like to give $5 for a good question. Anybody can take it. <laughs> yes, you previously also you give this amount reward to the audience. <laughs> But one student complained, sir, I have not received one okay. of my Okay, tell me his address and I'll, I'll see. I, I, I will give his <laughs> account details, sir. Sure. Sir, one, one question I have received yesterday in WhatsApp. Uh, sir, is it associate provost and associate professor is same? Uh, one question from the audience because speaker profile we have shared. One on audience question. So I told them in India, provost is very limited. This is administrative post kind of, including academic. If you say in your word, because they are also watching. So what is provost actually? So, <laughs> so um, vice chancellor in India is known in the US vice president for academic affairs. He is also called Chief Academic Officer. So the hierarchy in the uh, U.S. universities is the highest, the person at the highest level is called President. And President have more of the responsibility outside the university. However, he is the final authority for everything. But he works more for bringing money or donors or, you know, follow up with other uh, stakeholders. Vice Chancellor in India is also called in US Provost. And then under Provost, there could be one, two or three Associate Provost. So it is like a Pro Vice Chancellor in India. Um, you, and sir. then after the Pro Vice Chancellor. Below it is called colleges. So here in each university, you will have multiple colleges. Head of each college is called Dean. So Deans and then each of the college will have multiple departments. Head of those are the chairs. So faculty to chair, chair to Dean, Dean to the provost office, which include both associate provost as well as the provost, or pro vice chancellor and vice chancellor, and then to the president. That's how the governance structure in US. Thank you, sir. Thank you for clarification. Now, I would like to request Professor Amit, sir, 
for the vote of thanks and offer good morning sir this is uh, amit menezes associate professor from institute of management and commerce shrinivas university it is indeed my pleasure to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion so it was a good initial keynote address from professor sushil sharma associate provost texas a&m university texarkana usa so indeed it was so nice to listen to all his thought provoking works and the digital technology aspects in spite of it being quite late there sir has taken time out and being a patient uh, you say uh, host to tell about all things in details so i would like to thank professor sushil sharma sir for enlightening us with his keynote address thank you very much sir My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. I would also like to thank all the organizers for organizing such a, a beautiful session. The keynote address one was wonderful. So let us hear for the few more keynote and other addresses. Thank you very much. Over to you, Paul sir. I think Dr. Paul. Oh yeah. Okay. It's back. <laughs> He was. Sorry, sir. Some network issue. Uh, so, Professor Amit sir is there? Is there? Amit sir. Uh, it's yes, sir. We have finished the vote of thanks. Now over to you, sir. Thank you. So, sir, uh, offer certificate of appreciation also to sir. Not given. Not given. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, please wait. Sir, on behalf of this uh, international symposium on ITR and research methods. uh i would like to uh share this uh, certificate of appreciation for your kind support to this event and also motivation uh to the entire academic uh, community so sir please accept this uh, certificate uh, which is i think showing so now i would like to request uh, our uh, next uh, speaker and also chief guest of the event uh, professor uh, sorry sri omiyo kumar kalidaho sir uh, to start the things but before that i would like to request uh, professor kirtan raj the dean of institute of management and commerce to introduce sir a very good morning to all the dignitaries once again on behalf of shrinivas university and astika university and on the occasion of the international symposium on intellectual property rights and research methods i would like to welcome and introduce the chief guest and the keynote speaker shri amiya kumar kalidaha uh, sir is a senior scientific officer in the department of science and technology and biotechnology government of west bengal kolkata india He has completed his M.Tech Biotechnology from IIT Kharagpur, West Bengal, India, and obtained an M.Sc. Chemistry from the University of Burdwan, West Bengal, India. He also has obtained a diploma in management under All India Management Association, New Delhi, India. Previously, he held many positions such as District Science Advisor, South 24 Parganas, DST Government of West Bengal, from 2001 to 2006. Scientist at the reputed JK Tyre R&D facility at Rajasthan from 1992 to 2001. He has also worked as SRF, Senior Research Fellow at IIT Kharagpur during May to December 1992, and he has performed the position of Internal Auditor for ISO 9001 and Quality Manager for NABL 101 JK Tyre R&D. He has an outstanding record in education as he has was placed first class. first at msc degree at burdwana university west bengal and for that he has received the gold medal and barthaman sammelana gold medal for securing the highest marks in msc chemistry he was also the third topper in his mtech rubber technology at iit kharagpur and sir has exposure of visiting different international laboratories in france and germany as a delegate member of indian scientists 
uh, around the year 2013. He has several international publications in journals and attended many international and national conferences, seminars, symposiums, workshops, short-term courses, training programs, and so on. Sir is also a fellow member of the Indian Chemical Society, life member of the Indian Society of Analytical Scientists, associate member of the Institution of Engineers India, associate member of the Institution of Chemists India, former member PCD, Bureau of Indian Standards, Government of India, Chartered Engineer, Institution of Engineers, and he acted as a resource person for faculties at various universities, NIT, engineering and science colleges, and mentored DST Inspire Science Camps across India and uh, on, on intellectual property rights, including patent, copyright, trademarks, GI, etc., entrepreneurship and skill development, training programs, innovation and creativity in science and technology education, and in the popularization of loyalty of science and technology in students and common people. I'm sure this is a great a session that is going to be addressed by the right person on intellectual property rights and research methods. Over to you, Dr. P.K. Paul, sir. Thank you, madam. So what to prof uh, over to sir uh, Omir Kumar Kalidaho from government of West Bengal. Thank you. Department Thank of you. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You, you, audible, but you, you are not a uh, skin is not visible. I don't know whether uh, my skin will be visible or not. Probably there is some network issue. So that's why I have although, although my um, uh, video is making on, but it is not coming properly. So please excuse it. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks, uh, Kritan, for nice words for me. Uh, it really very good uh, opportunity to be with all of you uh, in this uh, platform, online platform rather. And uh, you know this uh, this program actually we thought of with PK Paul means uh, one in one of our programs, and we uh, and he actually. Uh, thought of a small program initially, but later on that could uh, really it has turned up to an international conference. And for this, I think not only the PK Paul, PK Paul is there obviously, but uh, I think Vice Chancellor and all the associate member of uh, Srinivas University Mangalore, uh, they are playing a very good role. And I think it is a really uh, proper time to uh, to introduce such type of sessions very frequently because these are the need of the hour as professor sharma uh, told rightly we are having a lot of technologies in front of us in fact not only in the technologies with the help of these technologies ict we are now uh, going apart which means with, which is not we could, could not even imagine it okay so uh, based on these uh, it we are entering in a entire different fields in medical science engineering by biotechnology and all related fields of science and technology. And besides the science and technology, other subject areas are also getting a lot of importance. So uh, in fact, today uh, I feel a little bit awkward because all of you are basically professors and uh, associated with the academics, but I am a typical government officials. So people usually thought that the government officials, uh, why they are involving in academic purpose anyway but still uh, i'll say, uh, share my knowledge which i gained during my actually official means as a government official so at our uh, department is the department of science and technology and biotechnology government of west bengal although our department is very small but uh, we are also doing some work related with these uh, technological uh, research particularly in different fields of research as well as different parts of the uh, other facilities which can be introduced throughout the science and technology. Okay, so today I will speak very small uh, portion of these uh, uh, these IPs. In fact, as Professor Sharma told, that a lot of technologies are coming out. Some medical students will be coming. So a lot of other other things are coming out, and different scientific field research is also going on. So means it is it is fine that they are doing something, but it is. Uh, our duty to acknowledge them equally. You know, when you are doing something great, you should have proper acknowledgement. Okay, and that is the part of IP. And since it is uh, backed by with a strong uh, legal issues, so it is really a nice things. Okay, so uh, let us give some basic conception 
because I, I could find that uh, out of the six or seven uh, plenary lectures or keynote addresses, it covers almost everything. And these are the nicely uh, choice by uh, Professor Paul and other uh, members who are associated with this uh, international symposium. Okay, let me uh, share my screen. Yes, sir, it is visible, sir. Okay, thank you. Let me. So, uh, these are basic concepts on intellectual property and its rights. I have given a time allotted of 45 minutes. Now it is uh, quarter to 11, I think, around. So, I will get around 11.35 or something. So, first disclaimer is that uh, I have shown different uh, illustrations, images, quotes. Those are not my right, my property actually. It has been taken from uh, different sites, and these are under fair use of drop, means IPR regime. So, uh, that is one thing. And second thing is that my uh, words is entirely for the education purpose. And if there is any legal issues, uh, that should be consulted properly with the uh, proper legal persons, patent attorney or attorney. Okay. So while we talking about the IPR, we first, uh, means since property is there, so let's come for the basics. Okay. What are the basics of these things? Okay. Now when we talk about the property, you usually thought of property means it is a movable property or immovable property. These are the main main uh, comes in our mind. That is what the property which can move and which are the property which cannot move. Okay. So we know all what is movable property and what is immovable properties. But you know, uh, we thought that these are the mainly personal properties. When, when we are talking about the property, we thought these are the personal properties and these personal property belongs to either movable properties or immovable property. And when it is coming as a property, we thought this is a possession of right, means it is my property, okay. Why? You know, this possession of property is mine property. It is strongly recommended by the legal rights, okay. See, since it is a legal right, no one can interfere here. If they want to interfere, they have to move to the court, okay. And whenever we talk about the personal property, we thought it's a private property and no trespassers will be allowed unless and until I give the, I give the permission. So it is totally uh, bound by the law. Okay. Now, you know, uh, the other forms of uh, way of defining the properties or asset is the tangible property or intangible property. Now, the properties which I have just uh, described as a movable property and immovable property comes under tangible property or tangible assets. But you know, some property means tangible assets means why it is called tangible asset? Because we can touch it, we can feel it, okay, we can we can we can see it physically. But there are properties which are intangible. The property we are, we are having, but we do not know that is a property. Okay, that is an asset. We do not even know it. So it is called intangible assets. And when we are talking about the intangible assets, such terminologies comes in our minds. That is brands, goodwill, knowledge, trademarks, patents. Okay, so knowledge, we are not able to see it rightly. Means what is a knowledge? What is a brand? Okay, so these are called an intangible assets. And why it is? Usually the intangible assets are also known as intellectual property. And why it is called intellectual property? Because it comes from our intellect, from our mind. So that's why it is called intellectual property. So after seeing all those things, what will be the definition of an intellectual property? So intellectual property is a basically a product of mind. It is a similar to movable and immovable property, but that can be used by the owner alone and not lawfully by others without owner's permission. So these are main things. It is your property, your product, and you can, no one can use it without your permissions. Okay. Now, all you need to know about intellectual property rights, how, what are the criteria actually for, for intellectual property? First of all, this is a new, 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 and global map. Background is a global map. That means whatever you are, 
uh, you are evolving something that should be very much new and novel throughout the world. Means this really is an original conception. So that is the main and prime criteria. Remember, IP is a techno, techno legal matters. So anything related with the pro intellectual property, you know, it comes under the techno technological. It has having two come out. How we can licensing or everything we know it. But similarly, we are not knowing how our intangible property will be protected and how the intangible property will be will be uh, licensed or other way we can how we can use it. So we must know your legal legal rights. Now, when we are talking about the IP, 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 there is a confusion because we usually uh, came to know. Um, they get different types of terms like protection, trademark, brand, patent, invention, industrial, law, licensing, so many things usually comes in our mind. Means we, we heard all of these. So are all of them are called intellectual property or something different is intellectual property? What these are? You know, in India, in India, we are having eight forms. Mainly we are having eight forms of intellectual property. And these are patents, which is very much uh, top, top. Copyright, very much useful, particularly for the academic, as uh, Vice Chancellor mentioned. Trademarks, industrial design, geographical indications or GI, layout design of integrated circuit, protection of plant varieties and farmers rights, and protection of undisclosed information trade secret. So these are the main categories of IP in India. You know, out of these eight, mainly there are two forms. One is known as uh, copyright and related issues and another is industrial part. So the patent related patent and others comes as an industrial component and copyright itself is a different. Now, what are the opportunities? Again, uh, uh, as Professor uh, means Sarma said that the, we are moving to our industry 5.0 from 4.0. Yes, it is very right. And for this, he has given a lot of products lot of examples, lot of emerging technologies, that means lot of innovations are coming out. And you know, all these innovations and all these innovations will only be applicable to industry if it is really working for us, number one, and it should be backed by the proper IP. Without backed by the proper IP, we cannot use it. So what is uh, intellectual property is playing a basically a bridging between the innovations or invention and the industries, different parts of innovation. So what is innovation? It is a, again, it is a huge terminology, but only in a single example, we can say that it is what is desirable to users. That is the first criteria. If we need it, then only uh, it is required. What is possible with the technology? Yes. Whether it is possible with the technology, possible with the technology or not. Earlier, we, even if we thought something great like um, a robot or all these things, because that was not possible, because at the time technology was not available. The gadgets we are using is possible nowadays, but it was earlier not possible because at the time technology was not available. So it evolves with the time of technology, evolution of technology also. So what is the desirable to users? What is possible with the technology? And finally, is the what is viable in the marketplace? If you are doing something very great, but that is not viable in the market, people are not able to use it, then this is just... It is an innovation, but it is not that much useful. Okay, so we cannot say it's an innovation. So innovation will be something, see, combination of this, what is the desirable, possible to be technology and viable in the marketplace. And here comes the bridging of IP. So whatever is in your mind, whatever is in your mind, and then you are doing a lot of research, all sorts of things, ultimately it is coming to the marketplace. But here actually IP plays the main important role. And why we are saying that the IP is very important for the industry uh, 5.0, even 4.0 is also because, you know, nowadays all the economy, world economy is totally depends upon the IP. So there is a relation between IP and GDP. GDP of any country basically depends upon its intellectual property. So as, as for the Craig Venter, intellectual property is a key aspect for economic development. Okay, unless and until you are having a strong IP, the GDP of any country can't go that much high. And as per Mark Getty, you know, the Getty images which he used to get from the Google images, as per Mark Getty, he's saying that the intellectual property is the oil of the 21st century. Look at the richest man a hundred years ago, 
they all made their money extracting natural resources or moving them around all today's richest men have made their money out of intellectual property and examples are many examples are in front of us what we are using in our daily life every day actually okay so what is modern economy modern economy is nothing but the knowledge you can go away so with your knowledge you are doing great research but you are not protecting your research so that is not should be, that should not be the cases okay so for an example modern economy is a knowledge economy is just uh, have a look of the iphone it is i'm not promoting any phone I means but what is the cost of an iphone nowadays the modern means latest iphone in india actually is iphone 14 pro i think that cost more than 1.25 lakhs or more something like this more than 1 lakh rupees and you know what will be the cost of this materialic cost materialistic cost material cost is very less it may not be 10000 or 20000 are at most actually so what is there inside the uh, iphone is basically its cost why because there are big royalty payments to be given to large number of inventors who have invented these different components so like traditional factors bland labor capital that creates modern economy modern economy it comes under the knowledge which is embedded in the form of invention innovation so how we are depicting your uh, knowledge that is in the form of invention or innovation now while we coming about the uh, means invention innovation there is a lot of possibilities number one is the breakthrough research as we all know about this COVID-19 research, huge research is going on throughout the world, but not only from the science and technology always, you know, by writing a very good books or other things also, you can, you can be a very uh, renowned person as well as very rich person. The example is in front of all of us like Harry Potter and many such uh, writers are there. So by taking the advantages of IP, we can go beyond whatever we could think of. New startups also can be produced because if we have a real new technologies which is useful to the person, you can form your own startups and you can start your own business. And that is possible only because your product, maybe it looks like very simple that can be uh, produced by anybody else. But uh, if you have a protection, nobody could use it unless and until your permission. Okay, like and uh, there are many, many examples of there, the new startups means all the gadgets we are using is also startups, but it is an example from our India, this IIT Delhi students, Pratik Sharma and uh, his other two colleagues, they made a naso filter. This naso filter is, uh, is a developed uh, uh, from very small piece of uh, nanoparticles and it can combat 90% of PM2.5 and 95% of PM10 particles, okay. So this is a very unique, uh, unique invention, and they have made that made their company while they were studying in the IIT. Look, this is the advantage. Now you know whenever you are doing something great, people will be there in front of you, means not only in front, actually in back of you rather, uh, to steal your ideas, to to steal your conception, to steal your research. So infringement will be there, and the laws are there to protect this infringement basically but you have to know it unless and until you know it no one can tell you okay so it is your duty to protect your research your conception now it's a very nice example of us uh, supreme court case study is the google's lawsuit against uber you know google google makes one uh, uh, car driverless car as you mentioned again uh, is coming up very rapidly nowadays waymo was the google's uh, driverless car and they had made a lot of research they have invested a lot of money for development of the Waymo car. But you know, one of their ex colleague, ex engineer, Anthony Lewandowski, when he came out from the Google and joined Uber, and he was a prime, means main uh, person to for deal, build up one driverless truck. So while they are ma making all the things from this, means taking from the conception of Waymo, the driverless truck by Uber. When they are going to launch in the U.S. market, the Google make a lawsuit against uh, the Uber, and U.S. Supreme Court is a uh, huge case studies were there, and they are uh, fighting more fighting, and ultimately the U.S. Supreme Court agreed. Yes, it has been infringed uh, by the Uber, and they cannot do it. So the full projects 
get cancelled. And besides this, obviously, penalties are there. Now, another example, still court cases is going on, uh, but I think it is a right place to mention to all of you that, you know, the uh, Covishield, Covishield is a, um, uh, is a uh, anti, this seems, vaccine used for the COVID-19, and that has been uh, marketed by the Serum Institute of India. But initially, you know, they have given the name of Covishield, and we are still using it as a Covishield, but this Covishield name has already been uh, filed by another company, Pune-based company, actually, uh, Nandet-based pharmaceutical company, Qtis Biotechs. And they claim that they, we have already registered Covishield in one of our product much before which has been registered, means they filed by the um, Serum Institute. Okay, SII. So, there was a, again, automatically, they went to the court and the court, civil court, actually of Pune, after seeing all those things, they find, yes, it, it has been used by the Qtis uh, uh, Biotech, but, you know, their product and this Covishield are different. Second thing, even if, even if the, uh, these things are different, no problem, but they told that uh, you have suppressed something before the court. That means Qtix Biotech actually suppressed some papers which actually uh, hinders them to get the full right of this Covishield. But you know, this, co this uh, court case is still under progress. It may went to the uh, Supreme Court and ultimately even we do not know whether we get Covishield from SII or something different name or uh, Qtix Biotech will lose the case. Okay. So these are, these are examples of our daily life. Okay. Now, uh, such type of uh, promotional offer we used to get from uh, in our WhatsApp message very frequently, you know. So what these are means you got a car if you send these uh, to numbers of your friends and there is a, uh, there is a, uh, even something you get a, a neck place from Tanisk. So such type of advertisements uh, link is coming and we, without knowing anything, actually what we do, we uh, share it to our friends. Please remember, it is a fraud. You cannot do it. And if you are doing something, it is against the law. And even you could be penalized. Remember it. You cannot say that I do not know it. And since I got it from some uh, uh, forwarding message, I am also sending. No, you cannot say it. Remember it. Because it is your, your uh, you have to know it. Because you don't have any alternate that I do not know. You cannot say something like this. Okay. Uh, this is uh, from Artem Bhaulin. He's the accused as a, a torrent, uh, actually torrents. He made the torrents. And for this, we used to download a lot of uh, movies from the uh, internet. But you know, again, it is against the copyright rule. So we cannot do these things. So now that particular fellow is under the custody. But still you know there are a lot of other sites are still available it is okay still unless and until uh, people are catching you off that is okay but if it is held up by the international international law ip law okay now sharing of newspaper particularly pdf is illegal link is possible so you cannot share pdf as such because it is an illegal as per the indian newspaper society Okay, because you may have uh, brought something, you may have personal subscription, you may have personal subscription of some ebooks or something different, I uh, mean, e journals, all sorts of things, but that is only for use of you only. It has not given permission to you that you could distribute it to your friends or your colleagues or your relatives. Okay, that is totally illegal. Now, while talking about any IP, is we came across lot of case studies, lot lot of case studies. We'll come lot of other things also, but three famous case studies in India particularly uh, is knocks uh, all of us. Number one is that haldi. You know haldi is uh, used for the healing wounds that we that we know. But in 1995, Sumon K. Das and Harihar P. Kore, they are from that two NRIs from University of Mississippi Medical Center, Jackson. They got the U.S. patent. In fact, they got the patent number for turmeric, that is healthy. And why for healing woods? 
but csr challenge as i as i mentioned now the, you should have a proper papers for infringe for uh, for taking it to the court so csr challenge the patent on the grounds of prior art that is existing public knowledge so csr told to the court that yes we are having sufficient knowledge sufficient documents which can prove that we have done work haldi much before that so the claim was backed by written documentation on traditional wisdom so ultimately you have to written documentation this is very important not any verbal documentation written documentation is very important csr submitted a documentary evidence proof in the form of research paper published in 1953 so it is much earlier than 1995 in the journal of in the indian, indian medical association and ultimately us patent 1995 they got it and after challenging us patent office uh, revoked it in 1997 means within two years that has been taken then who have claimed it and third and uh, very important is case study is the basmati rice case study you know basmati also got us patent uh, in 1997 us patent office they have given and they have given the patent to the us rice farm tech uh, us farm rice tech company For a variety called Texmati, they have introduced a name, Texmati, like similar to Basmati. They have name is a Texmati rice, and with twenty claims. Claims is a different, different in even a single patent, you may have different claims. So Texmati has twenty claims, but out of these twenty claims, sixteen claims are similar to Indian Basmati. Now, as per GI, as per the geographical indication, the Basmati is already. Uh, got the gi so since it is gi protected no one can protect in other form of any any ip okay in india actually the basmati rice all sorts of agricultural products usually is that has been protected by patent so law is little bit different but if anything protected in any country in any ip form that cannot be protected in any other country in other forms also okay so since it has been protected by gi in india the us patent office could not do it but anyway uh, ultimately this apeda agricultural and processed food products export development authority of india they have uh, given sufficient number of papers they have given papers from iari indian agricultural research institute new delhi director of rice research hyderabad and ultimately they could prove that the 16 claims of basmati is having similarity with the Uh, takes mati so ultimately uh, it has not 100% uh, revoked but the takes mati rice is still there but only with the four claims and those four claims are nothing so if still basmati and takes mati rice are there in side by side people will go for basmati only this is the power of ip so what is ip all about now we cannot say that we will not obey the ip rule because in the ip current context some common minimum standards as per the wto trade agreement we have to uh, maintain it we are part so intellectual property rights are legally sanctioned monopolies something it is called a negative right it is regarded as a tool to earn incentive for inventions creation and investment in knowledge economy again the knowledge economy is coming over here but please remember life of a patent and other ip is similar to banana utilize it as soon as possible and ip portfolio is a need of our you have to use it for a strategic tool but one thing has to be uh, uh, confirmed that is avoid number games and add it to quality ips because if you just generate ips it really doesn't make any sense you should have a quality ip so that it can have some good returns so why it is called the life of a banana and of ip because the you know the shelf life of banana is very very less when you find a very nice looking banana yellow color you thought that let it keep for some day uh will will consume it after two or three days it will become rotten actually you know so that, that means research is going on throughout the throughout the world similar in similar lines similar fields so if you, if you thought that you have done something great use it as soon as soon as possible okay so national strategy what are the national strategy for intellectual property it, it is mainly for the business friendly environment creation government do have their strategy and policies so welcome wealth bail value brand and companies created by the ip there are a lot of institutions also are coming up who are uh, in particularly uh, teaching for ip laws and ip offices and most important thing is the ip consciousness human resources particularly important for the creators innovators researchers you know we are doing lot of research we are publishing lot of papers but we are not doing ip that is that is the main thing 
But anyway, the scenario has been changed much more than earlier. One IPR policy is there, national IPR policy is there, and it is uh, looked after by the Department of Promotion of Industry and in the Internal Trade Government of India. And they do have their lot of other activities related to with the uh, IT. So everybody of us has to be followed with this national IPR policies. Please remember that the patents and all the related uh, laws, they change from time to time. And in 2021, that is the last amendments in the patents rules, actually, it took that the fee structure, earlier the fee structure was a little bit high, but now the fee structure are very less. Earlier, only the government institution, they could get um, means reduction in prices. But now it has extended to for even for the private colleges and private universities. Now all the uh, fees are reduced by almost 80%. And the time, earlier the Time also taking a lot of means it took almost four to five years for completion of one patent, but the timing is also becoming less. Now, what will be the one liner of all P? Because it is not time, there is no time to uh, discuss everything. So, what will be the one liner for IP? So, patents covers all forms of inventions and the processes involved in such invention. That means it may be a process patent, it may be a product patent. Copyright covers all forms of creative expression, like literature. This is the, for the academic copyright is very, very important, as well as a patent. So, music, cinema, drama, sound recordings, including software. In India, software comes under literature. So, it is coming as a copyright. Trademark covers various signs of enterprises used in products and services. Industrial design covers all the forms of design elements which appeal to the eye. We'll come some examples that will be clear, clarified. Geographical indication, as I mentioned, covers the names of products which are indicative of the origin and well known to the consumer. Layout design of integral circuits covers the design and functionality of various chips and protection of plant varieties covers asexually produced seed varieties. And trade secrets covers all forms of confidentiality of products owned by individuals. Actually, this is not a law, but it, it is the earliest form of our uh, IP. What will be the life cycle? Patent is having 20 years life cycle. Design is having 15 years life cycle. And copyright is having 60 years life cycle after the death of the author. Okay. The trademark and GI and obviously the trade um, secret, they are lifelong. Please remember, they are lifelong if you... Uh, renews from time to time. Okay, so this is a lifeline. And what is the recognition certificate? Everybody needs some recognition. Ultimately, what we are going to get, you are going to get a certificate, nice certificate from our government of India. And they are having different colors, different authority. Like this, the blue one is a patent, next one is the copyright, trademark, and design, GI, so and so forth. Okay. So what, if this, those are the Indian certificate, how it looks like a U.S. patent certificate. So this is the left side, this is the U.S. patent certificate, this is the Russian patent certificate, this is a Chinese patent certificate, and this is the first Chinese patent. So about the patency. A patent is an intellectual property that is granted by the government. It has been granted by the government of a nation to an inventor or innovator that gives him or her the exclusive right for 20 years in exchange for full disclosure of the details of the new technology to the society for its ultimate benefit. So you have to give the full disclosure to the government and they will, you will give it right for 20 years and you can enjoy it. But please remember, you have to renew from each year. Okay. The history, if we consider the history of patents, it has been observed that Greece, this IP conception, means patent conception was there in 500 BC in Greece. Greece. Then come 1700 in Europe and early patent system reinforced wealth wealth. Actually, in earlier peoples, peoples means the wealth people, they usually protect it by just uh, voice, by, by their voice. I will not give it something like this. Okay, this is my property. So ultimately, that becomes the um, IPs later on. Now, this is a nice example of a patented product that is the paste it or post it or sticky note, something like this. You know, the beauty of this sticky note is that. It has having one glue backside of the paper, uh, which can adhere to any surfaces and that could even take out from the surfaces without keeping any trace of the adhesive uh, onto the surface. So this is a very nice example of a patent product. It's a very simple patent product, but which earns billions of revenue for a company like 3M. It is a manufactured by 3M of US company. So it is the beauty of the adhesives, which makes this uh, things possible 
and this is the real innovations. Then the stapler, everybody of us, we cannot even think of our life without the stapler pin. And this is the first patent document of a stapler. It was in March 14, 1944. Okay. But you will be surprised that the first uh, uh, stapler is this one. It looks like something odd. It is a single stroke staple press um, uh, and got the patent in February 20, 18, 1879. This is the original patent drawing. You know, this is the original patent drawing uh, by George McGill. They have received this US patent. At that time, it was a single stroke. And later on, this one part, one component has been becoming changing. And ultimately, we are getting different forms of stapler, not a single form. So initially, it has started from a single stroke stapler machine. And later on, now today, we are getting numbers of patents. Safety pin. Safety pin is also a very useful uh, product. It's a very simple thing. But it has also a very nice uh, patented product. And that has been patented by Walter Hunt in 1849, April 10, 1849. Simple drawing. And this uh, stapler has been come. Uh, this uh, safety pin has come out. You know, there is a nice story of uh, how the stapler pin, uh, safety pin was developed by Walter Hunt. You know, say, um, this Walter Hunt, he doesn't have, he didn't have any that much strong academic background, but that fellow could uh, think of something great always. So once that the, uh, Walter Hunt uh, uh, got 15, sorry, 15, uh, 15 dollars debt, he has to pay for, for one for he took a debt as a $15 debt from a friend. So he decided to invent something new. So from a piece of brass where about eight inches long and coiled at the center and sealed it at one end, he made the first safety pin. Look, he has the conception that if I could make this product, it could have a market value, but he doesn't have that much power to make it marketing. So he just had the power to develop something, to invent something. So he invented something and marketed is given to the Walter uh, W.R. Grayson Company, USA. And the um, W.R. Grayson Company, they are the business house. They know how the potential of this small item will be in near future. So they just immediately uh, took, the, uh, took the idea. But before that, you know, that before that, Walter Hunt made its patent. So he got the patent and then he approached the uh, W.R. Grayson Company. W.R. Grayson Company uh, took the, uh, their, his invention and they marketed it. And for this, they, this W.R. Grace company paid $400 to Walter Hunt. So Walter Hunt was very happy. He paid back $15 to his friend and he was having $385 with him. And after $385 spending, he again will debt for some, some amount of dollar. And again, he will invent something. In fact, he was a pioneer in a lot of innovations. This is an example of a uh, needle, you know, needle. And with the help of this needle, a lot of other equipment are generated. And this is the swing machine by N. Wheeler and W.F. Bell. They got it patented in 1885. And now, you know, the uh, fashion design is totally depends upon these machines and who's initially started from a simple needle we are using steel. Then the James Clip is a great invention. It also got US patent very early, 1994. Then tooth brass, all of things, all the things which, which are using, these are all, almost all are patented products. We may not know it, means we are using it, but we, uh, we do not know even that these are patented products. It's a nice example of Michael Jackson's, this uh, anti-gravity illusion Sue, actually, you know, uh, when uh, he played this uh, dance, it's a very uh, moonwalk dance for the first time, people thought how he could manage it because it is against the center of gravity. But, you know, the Sue design is something different so that it looks like that is leaned against the center of gravity. And for this, Michael Jackson got the patent for this suit. Remember, Michael Jackson got this patent for this one. So those are the patents and number of examples are with there. Now comes the industrial design. Industrial design, as I mentioned, it is the outer side features, ornamental part, which appeals to the eye. So this is the design, design of chairs, okay? 
how it looks like very fantastic means we know about this four uh, leg uh, chair this is simple but those things are unique so the people the person who has designed the chair conception must have get some uh, right and that is called design rights trademark trademark is the uh, distinctive words or names or symbols which is used to distinguish a product or service from the other competitors or anyone from in the marketplace so trademark is plays a very very important role so these are the different tire companies and all of them are having their own individual trademarks and now each and everything any any startups they initially when they are going to start their own business trademark is very much important for the company what are bislery bottle is cheated by other similar type of uh, similar looks like so these are all again infringement of bislery you know the our famous persons like um, celebrities like sachin tendulkar and all many many stars like international national stars they have made their names even uh, are protected under trademark like tendulkar is two name in such ssc is such and tendulkar these two names have already been uh, registered in um, trademark registration so people cannot use it such or tendulkar without the uh, permission from the sachin tendulkar similarly similar thing is for sarukh khan srk has been already registered now in trademark registration you know there are two uh, um, uh, words coming one is called dictionary words and another is called non dictionary words or invented words when it comes to dictionary words that's one dictionary word can be used for a particular category of product but that cannot be extended to same to similar category of product like vivo it is it is a uh, latin word it means within the living means life is there so vivo fortune while is there vivo mobile phone is there vivo asus vivo uh, laptop is there but now one cannot use anything in the name of means something written in vivo with the while or the or the mobile or its model number or any laptop with the vivo because it has been used for these categories but this vivo can be used for other categories which has not been registered in india okay another terminology is called non dictionary words here you know the like google intel hewlett packard microsoft mercedes benz these are unique word corel these are all unique words and these are called invented words those words cannot be used in any categories without the permission of the of the authors that means now we cannot say that google jewelry or something like this new google jewelry or new microsoft other things that cannot be used because it is a word itself has been invented by the authors and trade secret as i already mentioned it requires the intellectual property be protected not publicly disclosed coca cola is a very great example of the uh, trade secret borolin is an example of trade secret in the internet material and now finally it comes the copyrights so copyright granted by government to the author of an original literary dramatic musical artistic and other eligible creative works okay so um, different forms of creativities means um, particularly literary creativity like the brand x the website has been copied by the uh, indian um, uh, movie poster similarly uh, our uh, ddlj poster has been copied by the default of our stars in us also nowadays youtube's a uh, lot of in content creators are available and they are creating lot of uh, beautiful character um, uh, contents but without the permission <coughs> of the content creator you cannot use it in your name in other area because if you use it that will be copyright infringement okay now you know there is a rules for ugc regulations for plagiarism sometimes we known means known as a plagiarism so regulations have been passed out and they have published the gadget of india notifications here if you do some copycat ticking means then it will be punishable means up to means for phd students there is some rule and for faculty there is some rule so up to 20% 10% is allowed but after that if it goes beyond this you will be penalized and for this we are having lot of uh, softwares are available nowadays which would be used for this checking of the similarity checking or plagiarism checking but what about fair uses fair uses means if you are using for some small portions for the benefits of the uh, uh, general public not as a commercial source such type of uh, examples are there for fair uses even for the copyrighted items 
Now, uh, there is a news that some battles are going on with IPs. Okay, and the first and foremost example for this battling is the uh, Rasagulla battle between uh, West Bengal as well as Odisha. You know, but later on it could find that both both Odisha and uh, India got uh, GI tag later on. Okay, so the, both of them got the uh, Rasagulla for this one. Darjeeling is the first uh, GI tagging items in India. GI number one. So intellectual property that is basically an uh, uh, component which comes from idea. So if it comes idea, then innovations, it is patent. Express gives copyright, quality and identity gives trademark, and appearance gives design, and traditional product protection gives you GI and PVP, and if it is a confidential, it is gives you trade secret. Am I audible? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yeah. Now, you know, we have discussed a lot of things about these IPs. I am very, I mean, almost nearing to my, my, my session. So don't think that all these IPs will be applicable for a particular product only. No, it is not that. Like all in one also possible or all in many is also possible. Like this is an example. Again, I, have, I took an example for IP of, 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 of Apple phone. You know, it is having almost six components of the patent, means IP in a single product. Like when when we are talking about the patent of an uh, iPhone, it covers this new mechanism, process, constituents, products, copyright is engineering, drawings, and manuals. Industrial design is external features. Its iPhone is a trademark. Trade secret is manufacturing know-how. They will disclose everything, but they will not disclose about the manufacturing know-how. And the layout design of integral circuit is the semiconductor chips and IC used. You know, similarly for a a single work for a copyrighted product, like even any reality show, there will be rights of performers, right of producer, rights of the dance directors, rights in the title song, and rights of the broadcasters. Okay. Now, what is the first Indian patent? First Indian patent was uh, an efficient pankha pulling machine developed by George Alfred and Penning, and he got patent for uh, this product on March 3, 1856. Earlier, the pankha pulling machine was, uh, was a human uh, involvement, but later on, this fellow has developed and created one mechanized process, and for this, we got the first Indian patent. Obviously, at the time, India was not independent. So, what are the challenges? We have done a lot of things, but still, there are a lot of challenges out there. You know, uh, whenever we talk about the challenges, our uh, we usually talk about the China. You know, as per the international patent application by country, it is found that uh, in 1991 uh, to 2020, means each 10 years actually, it is observed that China enters the top 10 international patent application by country in the year 2005 with. 3,127 number of patent applications, international patent applications. And at that time, US was the top and Japan second and so on and so forth. But in 2020, means within 15 years, China into the top position. And they are still continuing. India is little bit, little bit much more, little bit much more behind this uh, number of applications. Actually, we are publishing a lot of papers but we are not applying for the patents. That is important. Okay. Usually, it is um, uh, maintained by WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, and each year they publish one uh, full book on, on 
Global Innovation Index. Since 30th September 2022, it is observed that the 10 top most innovative economies or you know, economic countries, you can say Switzerland, US to Denmark. Here, India's position is 40, as I mentioned, India's position is 40. And China is going very fast. Probably by next year, China will be into the 10 most innovative countries. So China in 2022, they are in 11, 2021 in 12, and 2020, 14. That means from 2020, 14 to today, nowadays it is 11. Probably by next week, next year, this current running year, they will be in the within 10th position. But India's, India's, as I already mentioned, India is the, the awareness is really becoming very, very, very good actually. You know, India has jumped widely. 81 in 2051. 2015 and now in 2022 means within uh, seven years we are almost 40 means 100 percent leap actually so 81 to 40 india has jumped and that is only possible because all of you whoever making uh, the research as well as the innovations of our country very 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 high and it is based on the PCT application and sci publications. It has found that the top 10 science and technology hotspots as per the Global Innovation Index of GI 2020, last two years back, actually, it has also been published five years uh, gap between. Okay. Here it is found that out of, means obviously the 10 top uh, publications are in Tokyo, Yokohama to Paris. Okay. But in India, we have so ranked 60, 67, and 98. Three positions are there in India. Probably in the next uh, of my publications, our position will be a little bit uh, even better. But you know, surprisingly, the top scientific field is the chemistry. That means chemistry students, that means it can say that the chemical science students are, or the academicians, they are giving much more emphasis on these areas which may be required for the other subject areas. Okay. Now, one interesting case study, and then I'll finish my talk of the year. And you know, 30th March is a very famous day or very famous. Why? Before that, I just mentioned that you know the modern pencil was invented in 1795, Nicholas Jacks Conti, that fellow. And in 1770, in 1795, pencil means the, the developed. And in 1770, English engineer Edward Nerin is reported to have developed the first widely marked rubber eraser. But you will be surprised that they have developed both these things independently. But in 1858, Hyman Lipman, he just added this eraser backside of a pencil. I think almost all of us have used this pencil and eraser. He, he actually noticed the things that people, in particularly the kids, they are lost their eraser while writing in the paper. And later on, it is found not only the kids, even the adults also could not able to get the eraser from the, when it is required. So just by observation of this uh, observation, Hyman Lipman, he has attached a eraser backs of a pencil. Hyman Liebman neither developed pencil, neither developed eraser, neither developed the, the metal strip. Only he has had the conception and he has just added these things, which is a very, very useful item. And he got a patent for this on 3rd, 30th March, and that's why it is known as National Pencil Day. And this National Pencil Day makes him so much actually economically high condition because at that time, in from even 1858, if he have license to a product means who is producing this this product, he could earn lot of money for 15 years because at that time the term was 15 years. Now in India, our patent term is for 20 years. Okay, uh, I think I, I will stop over here because it is having a really an endless of talk. I am already almost finished my 45 minutes, in fact, more than that. So, thank you very much. Um, hope I have able to uh, give some little bit of this knowledge basic conception on these uh, burning topics nowadays. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir.
sir so though your topic is basics concept of ipr but you discuss lot of thing there are lot of new knowledge and interactive session you have done so yeah, we have you. lot of platform one question from sushila shetty uh, she is asking by whatsapp to me sir what is copyright uh, what is copyright secret so anything is copyright secret sir copyright secret trade secret it will be i think she has mentioned mistakenly copyright i could see where where it has come in my whatsapp oh in your whatsapp actually look there is nothing like a copyright secret actually it is a copyright copyright means it is a your product how can a copyright will be secret actually it has been unless and until you publish it you you it doesn't make any sense actually na because suppose you are making a paper or whatever may, may be thing it has to be published or it has to be seen by somebody then only uh, that product will be and if it is a secret then then it is how you use actually i think the question has not come rightly but mm -hmm. it should be copyrighted it should be protected that is the thing means you should have a product that has to be copyrighted okay thank you sir sir one thing from my end i want to ask that is uh, what is the charges normally we required oh, for indian yeah. uh, patents kind of or how they actually depends the charges basic application actually charges. actually actually uh, professor paul uh, this uh, regarding the charges in india it is really not not that much high for doing a patent it thing i think for a academic institution now government is almost paying everything okay lot of institutions are there so you don't have to pay almost means nothing actually means the amount is really very very less for a academic institution but for an a but an for an industry it may be little bit high but even for a for a good product around 1 lakhs of rupees or 2 lakhs of rupees i don't think it is that much high so rates are rates varies actually i am having all those uh, fee structure everything but i can say out of this eight uh, means seven a uh, protection fees are very very less in india comparing the other countries particularly us okay sir one question from uh, from a professor uh, yeah. krishna prasad k he is asking okay. sir there are eight types of ipr in india uh, yeah. you have uh, but you have mentioned patent copyright trademark gi uh, industrial design and uh, hmm. plan variety protection and de layout design which is eight yeah. numbers sir he has asked to you Trade secret. Uh, eight, trade secret. Eight number. Uh, trade trade secret is the eight number. Trade secret. Yeah, okay. trade secret. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So I think there are a lot of questions we are receiving, sir. One question from Arnab Chakravarti. Uh, okay. He is asking, uh, what is the objective of a copyright? What is very the objective? basic question. Very basic question. <laughs> Obviously, look. If it is yours, and if you want that, whoever will be using it must mention my name, must attribute me. Uh, that is the copyright. Okay, without your permission, it is your product. You could have all the rights to do. Suppose you are having a book, or you are having a paper, and you thought that I want to distribute to it to one of my friends or others. Then that only you have the permit. You have the Uh, means, uh, scope to distribute it legally. If others are doing these things, those are things illegal. Okay, so it is your thing. But if you thought that my product can be used by anybody else, then you can go for CC. That is common creative, Creative Commons. Okay, even for Creative Commons, also there are five or six number of uh, attributions are possible. whether that could be used uh, uh, professionally that means people can even earn by using your product that is also possible but otherwise people can use it with your um, your um, your links only that is also possible so copyright itself is a very huge things but main thing is that if it is yours that is been protected by copyright and that could not be used by any other else that's why actually actually the related term is called plagiarism actually you know plagiarism means it is a uh, stealing of your ideas and saying that it is my idea so i'm quite sure that uh, being a good researcher we cannot we should not expect it that my research will be used by somebody else saying that it is done by him or her so that is the main important
you are mute thank you sir so what to professor uh, uh, Sahil yeah, actually, you, actually, Adam? actually, I want to mention uh, uh, Professor Paul and other uh, whoever <laughs> were here. Actually, you know, this is a really it is a huge uh, subject, yeah, and I think you have covered many of the other uh, speakers will cover a lot of things. But sometimes it needs really means uh, we know that the online mode is nice, but physical uh, presence and physical interactions and physical lot of other examples could make it uh, feel better. Otherwise, since it is a legal legal terminologies are there, many people thought that it is not my subject. Means they are usually get feared of this. This is a very important thing. Uh, while we talk about the IP, although it is very much important nowadays, particularly for NIR, NIRF ranking or any ranking. Now, in, without IP, it is it is just uh, very difficult to get NIRF for a particular institutions. Mm -hmm. And sir, uh, one question is chat box also here in a, in this. Uh, Google Meet platform. Yeah. If you are able to address, or otherwise, uh, I will. Uh, Which one? You can see, sir. One question is also here in the chat box for you, I think. Uh, uh, no, I think that that this um, regarding the medical research or health research or something else. I could not find it. Means can so can you can you ask directly, Sonia, uh, Doctor Farhan Ul and Sonia. You could ask a yeah, directly yeah. question by oh, that uh, that, that question uh, that question I think uh, he see uh, asked probably see uh, asked these questions for for the, the uh, initial speaker I think so. No sir, it is now now only eleven forty. Now only okay, no problem, no problem. So for medical professionals, how they can do research on four point zero as background is not related to IT and. Tools or any suggestions how they can enter in digital tech. I I don't think it is related to my topics. Okay. Over to Silas Sri, madam. Okay. Once again, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and on behalf of the organizers, I Silas Sri, the professor at Srinivas Institute of uh, uh, University. Take this opportunity to thank um, Shri Amaya Kumar Kalidhya, the senior scientist, scientific officer, uh, Department of uh, Science, Technology and Biotechnology, Government of West Bengal, uh, India, for his very, very valuable insights on the basic concepts of intellectual property rights uh, and its rights. I am sure each one of us here virtually were uh, very, very lucky enough to listen to you, sir. Uh, you were uh, you stressed upon the importance of uh, the IP as a researcher and also for the economy that is uh, for the entire country and also stressed upon saying that it was the oil of the 21st uh, century. You touched upon the do's and don'ts of the IP and uh, also the importance of documentation for any researcher. And all in all, sir, an uh, extremely well drafted presentation. And on behalf of all gathered again, uh, I um, place my whole hearted uh, thank you and call upon, and I think we have the um, certificate of appreciation here. Uh, thank you once again, sir. And, uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. Yes, sir. Over to Paul, sir. So thank you, madam. So now we'll move to our uh, next keynote address, uh, keynote address three. The introduced uh, by Professor Sonia of Institute of Port and Shipping Management uh, of uh, Sinivas University. She's a dean. So, over to Madam. Uh, 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 one minute, one minute. You can skip the introduction or make it okay. only one minute to manage the time. Okay. Oh. Uh, good morning. I take this privilege to introduce uh, our next speaker, Dr. Uh, Professor. Uh, P. Sh. Raman Aital, who is a renowned personality in the field of research, uh, Vice Chancellor and my guru as well. There is he's so uh, renowned that there is no much need for the introduction, as I said. Uh, but uh, but he has a wide experience in terms of uh, administration as well as the research. On behalf of all of us gathered here, sir, I welcome you to this session. Over to you, sir. Sir, it's on mute, sir. Okay, thank you all. 
I am sure that you all are able to see my screen. So I will uh, uh, mute my video um, to decrease the bandwidth usage and uh, share my PPT. Okay. So now I have to go to presentation mode. So I think I can uh, continue till uh, 12 15 or 12 20 um, in order to manage the time. Yes, sir. Absolutely, mm -hmm. sir. Okay. Now I am in the presentation mode. Uh, my topic is uh, a general topic uh, which covers uh, the uh, almost many, many part of uh, this uh, uh, international symposium. After hearing uh, uh, authentic, fantastic, attractive, and authoritative presentation of uh, these two eminent tech personalities, Professor Sushil Sharma on emerging computing technologies and uh, research opportunities uh, for a digital society, as well as uh, uh, Professor uh, Amaya Kumar Kalidaha. Uh, on basic concepts of intellectual property and its rights. I will uh, try to summarize some of the uh, research methods as well as the publication models for creating copyright as IPR. Uh, this is a third uh, session of international symposium on basics of IPR and research methods. So the plan of presentation with the 10 issues are initially I will start from basics, that is basics to research, then types of research, then I will focus on one type of research based on one school of thought that is exploratory research. Then we will see what are the different types of exploratory research out of them. We will further focus on research based case studies, though there are two types of case studies. One is research-based case studies. Second one is teaching-based case studies. Then we will discuss about types of research-based case studies under which we will discuss various new methods of research, including various analysis frameworks. Then we will go to publication of the research outcomes, how you can create a scholarly publication and how you can reach the entire globe of research community uh, with your results. Then ideal scholarly publication, how to define ideally ideal scholar publication and how to reach towards ideal scholarly publication using technology. So under which we will also discuss the types of scholarly publications. Then publication as business model as well as philanthropical model. So two types of models are used in the publication and we will discuss the pro and cons of this business model publication and philanthropical model publication. Then we will discuss a few issues related to copyright of publication as IPR. Our previous speaker covered this IPR in the detail, but some of the aspects based on my observations I will also add, including the fees to be paid to create a copyright in India. Now, coming to the introduction to research. So, uh, we will discuss recall what is. So, as uh, you know, research, research is a process of generating new knowledge on anything. So, process of generating new knowledge on anything. It can be a discovery or through innovation. It can be through discovery or through innovation or uh, research can be also uh, defined as a new interpretation of existing knowledge on anything. So if you, uh, anything, then uh, you can interpret in new ways and you can call it as research. Like uh, uh, by adding a pencil and eraser, uh, you created a new patent. <laughs> and uh, so this is the idea. Uh, so, you should be very smart uh, to do research. You can 
generate new knowledge through very hard working, hard research, or as a smart thinker, you can interpret the existing knowledge in new way, and you can claim it as research and you uh, get the IPR for it. So a person who created pencil is created new knowledge uh, through a discovery. A person who created eraser also created new knowledge through a discovery. But a person who combined uh, pencil and eraser is a real smart fellow and he has followed the second part of the definition, second definition of research, that is new interpretation of existing knowledge on anything. So now coming to uh, various research skills required for a researcher, uh, as per one school of thought, uh, a researcher should have cap capability of anal analysis uh, of anything, comparison of anything with others, evaluation of anything with uh, based on certain uh, parameters, then the interpretation of this uh, anything in his own way. Then he has to create a new knowledge or interpret a new knowledge in his own way. So these are the five research skills usually followed by our researchers. Uh, so all, all our young researchers should keep these kind of skills with you in order to do research and come out with the research publication. Now coming to types of research, there are different types of research based on different school of thoughts. Uh, so one school of thought, according to me, my school of thought uh, tells that uh, research uh, methodology, that should be three interpret existing knowledge in new ways. Uh, then in the quantitative uh, method of doing research, you have to uh, use primary data, usually primary data, and you can, um, and you can analyze and interpret using various statistical methods or other frameworks. Then in the mixed method, you can use both primary and secondary data uh, for analysis, for comparison, for evaluation, for uh, interpretation, and for creating new knowledge. Now, uh, there is another school of thought uh, about uh, uh, types of research, which is also meaningful. For, yeah, accordingly, in this uh, school of thought, the research is divided into four types. One is exploratory research, which explains the reasons for the phenomenon, now, usually qualitative, but you can make it quantitative also. Then the second type of research is a conclusive research, uh, which uh, uh, provides information for the assessment of alternative solutions for a given problem. So here it can be uh, either qualitative or quantitative. Then the third type of research as per this school of thought is a descriptive research. Uh, used to investigate the facts aimed at describing the characteristics of the system. So here it uh, usually uh, will be qualitative, but uh, nowadays you can convert it into quantitative also. Then the fourth type of research uh, under this school of thought is casual research to reveal cause and effect of a phenomena. And it is usually quantitative in nature. Experimental research is an example here. Then now we will focus on and then you can write the hypothesis. But you need not test the hypothesis in exploratory research. So exploratory research applications includes case studies, field observations, focus groups and interviews. These are the major types of exploratory research applications or examples. Now, let us see the characteristics of exploratory research. Use the results for further research uh, because it is not a conclude and unrestricted. So these are certain characteristics of exploratory research which can vary with the, the type of research you are using under uh, exploratory research. Now, case studies is one type of exploratory research and uh, uh, this uh, strategy analysis, budget analysis is also a type of research based case studies. Now coming to uh, next slide, uh, various analysis frameworks. 
in all these research type of case studies whatever i have shown in previous slide you can use certain frameworks for analysis skill uh, to be used so some of the uh, analysis frameworks i have listed uh, perspective called a b c d stakeholders analysis you can also find out the factors and elemental analysis uh, using a b c d analysis and the fourth one is you can also study quantitatively uh, through weightage uh, by by studying the weightage of advantage benefit constraints and disadvantages of a situation or a concept or an idea or a strategy or a material so that uh, this is a general uh, broad scoped analysis four types of analysis you can do under abcd like abcd listing abcd uh, stakeholders analysis factor and elemental analysis abcd quantitative weightage based study uh, then uh, pestile uh, situational analysis you can study what is the uh, political situation or environment on a particular system or a particular organization uh, then uh, economic environment then uh, uh, social environment technological environment legal environment uh, you can introduce research at uh, undergraduate and post graduate level also then uh, we use uh, seven kpis seven key performance indicator analysis uh, for analyzing uh, uh, ceos or managers or leaders uh, in uh, business organizations then uh, technology analysis is also very important today uh, professor uh, dr sushil kumar sharma uh, in his uh, first uh, uh, this invited speech has uh, discussed various uh, uh, applications of icct underlying technologies starting from artificial intelligence to uh, cloud computing then uh, quantum computers then uh, 3d printing uh, as well as uh, virtual reality and mixed realities so this can be usually a part of technology analysis uh, and uh, he has given lot of research opportunities under different icct underlying technologies then performance analysis in financial production marketing and human resource uh, sections of organizations can be also done uh, as case study and then predict you or future analysis uh, using uh, uh, present uh, previous and present performance you can uh, study the field of uh, i will not uh, go in facts data statistics and concrete information for solution to the problem so that this is one way of looking into a problem or a situation then where red hat called intuitive hat where you should uh, uh, analyze that situation again uh, by using your feelings emotions values and intuition while finding appropriate solutions to the problem uh, like a religious leader or a sage then uh, the third yellow hat you have to wear a yellow hat and analyze a given situation uh, by um, like optimistic uh, person so you have to um, uh, it in inspires logically present positive plans of actions that will help to overcome the problem so as a positive thinker optimistic person you should analyze and uh, try to solve a given problem under this uh, hat then the uh, fourth hat is black uh, or pessimistic hat where you should criticize uh, your problem and uh, you should be more cautious about while solving the problem so it is a pessimistic approach or negative thinking approach of analyzing a situation uh, to be more curious uh, more cautious uh, while investing various resources to solve the problem then green creative hat uh, which uh, uh, is like a uh, creative thinker so you should think out of the box and analyze a given situation uh, like a innovator or a scientist then uh, last sixth hat or sixth frame of reference 
uh, while analyzing a situation uh, or issue is a blue managerial hat where you have to use managerial characteristics um, uh, to analyze a problem like a manager or an executive. So you can study details about it by searching the six thinking hat analysis in a Google Scholar and uh, downloading uh, hundreds of papers on it. Then uh, I will go to the second part. I don't know what happened. Okay, so patent analysis is another uh, emerging uh, new research method where you can, uh, under uh, our exploratory research, uh, where you can uh, forecast emerging technologies, mapping in uh, inventive activities and technological change, evaluating the risk of patent infringement, then the technology trends identification, estimation of technological impact, identifying technological topics and uh, institution uh, topic distribution probability, then uh, monitoring technology trends, technology valuation through patent analysis, uh, to know state of the art technology development in a given subject, etc. Like this, uh, uh, there are many more uh, ways, uh, many more reasons why you should do a patent analysis. How to do patent analysis with all these uh, uh, details systematically provided in that paper uh, by my paper. So if you can search uh, in Google Scholar, Patent Analysis by P.S. Saital. P.S. Saital, you will get uh, this entire uh, big paper with all the ideas related to analyzing a patent. And there are millions of patents available in the Google Patent Search. So there are millions of research opportunities for the youngsters, uh, new researchers, uh, to analyze a, a chosen patent according to this patent analysis uh, methodology or method. Then we will go to the scholarly publication uh, where the objective of scholarly publication is uh, showcase your research results authentically to the entire research community uh, belonging to the world. So your research results should reach everyone who is interested in your research results in that area around the globe. So then there are two types of research publications. Uh, one is closed or paid access publications. Second one open or free access publications. So this closed or paid access publication is a world model called 20th century model. Now open or free access publication is a new model called 21st century model. Now changing scenarios based on technological and environmental changes, as well as perce perception of research community is fueling uh, the translation, translation from closed access to open access research publication models. Uh, some people are a little slow, usually old people, so they take more time to migrate from closed access research publication model to open access research publication model. There are many organizations which use this as a uh, commercial business model, uh, always uh, create some kind of switching cost from uh, closed access model to open access model. And uh, uh, usually an innovation, uh, if it is a disruptive innovation, then it takes time uh, to become popular. So this uh, open access uh, research publication is a disruptive innovation uh, compared to the old model closed access uh, publication so that any disruptive innovation need more time because it will be initially considered as inferior compared to the old model. And then uh, after some time when people realize that this model is better than old model, then everyone will adopt it so that it will it may become disruptive uh, model, uh, innovation model. Now here, uh, the types, uh, subscription type and open access type, uh, where subs subscription type uh, was a old model when libraries uh, around the world were existing. Uh, physical libraries around the world were existing. But now uh, physical libraries are becoming obsolete uh, and disappearing. In future days, we will have a one 
universal digital library with all the information uh, and uh, this ipr information uh, available uh, uh, by uh, through your mobile phone or uh, laptop or any other computer digital device uh, so uh, this ideal scholarly publication uh, supports you how to see the scholarly publication in an improved version how scholarly publication is changing and what what should be the direction of this change so whenever you find an ideal system you will come to know uh, how you can improve a present system towards ideal system you will get the direction of improvement so similarly here also ideal scholarly publication uh, model uh, you can uh, discuss and uh, through these eight characteristics one is uh, scholarly i will stop within 5 minutes a uh, scholarly article is important than journal it carries this is very important see you are not promoting a journal you are promoting your article your research article called scholarly article and your articles information is which contains new knowledge or new interpretation should reach the entire research community around the world this is the first requirement in ideal publication so then scholarly article should reach globally to every interested researcher free of cost there should not be any constraint uh, to this articles reach to every interested researcher uh, based on their search uh, through keywords title or author based search etc so keywords are very important and they should take your article to entire research community globally hmm, using uh, technology uh, and uh, this is uh, the uh, characteristic second characteristics of uh, ideal uh, scholarly publication the third one is the time gap between article submission or publication and reaching it uh, to the required people should be zero once uh, you get a new result you should able to communicate to the entire world without any time delay in ideal case it should be zero in practical case it should be very minimum so you cannot wait one year two year three years for your research outputs communication to the research community so uh, that is one of the uh, characteristics of ideal uh, research uh, research ideal scholarly publication fourth one is the publisher should ensure that the article is is a scholarly article you cannot uh, publish uh, a any article uh, as a scholarly article uh, that should be a novelty or new zero zero fabrication of results zero falsification of results with the, a unique identification for your article like dy then the fifth characteristic is zero publication cost you should not spend anything uh, uh, for your publication that should not be any financial constraint for a researcher for publishing his or her research output to the world then copyright should be with the authors you should hold the right of your publication your results you should not uh, give to somebody else who will help you to uh, who has helped you to publish your article so you are the owner of your article forever so this ipr copyright gives you Uh, the right of your article your research in your hand copyright as well as patent uh, and uh, patent gives only 20 years maximum uh, right of your invention whereas uh, copyright gives you 60 years of right after your life span that means if you live 50 years another 50 years and uh, uh, your copyright uh, will have validity of 50 plus 60 years that is 110 years uh, then uh, citation should be recorded without missing any so in ideal publication once you publish uh, your research result whoever cites it uh, to continue that research further you should able to get that citation so that is the ideal publication requirement then if uh, the publication is through a journal then it should have a unique identification number called issn otherwise uh, this is only to differentiate uh, the journals with magazines or newspapers okay so uh, 
you should always think about uh, ideal publication how you can do a publication uh, in reality which follows the characteristics of ideal publication or at least to close to the ideal publication like uh, we have uh, we know ideal business models uh, where ideal business models uh, takes zero input and maximum output or infinite output so we use uh, uh, online digital business models where the input can be very very less and output can be maximum by creating any number of digital products so if you have one song digital song if you create a digital song you can uh, uh, create millions billions uh, trillions of it digitally and sell it for low uh, low price now coming to the last part i think i will skip some of the copyright of uh, publication as ipr so uh, this ipr copyright is one form of ipr out of many iprs discussed by our previous uh, uh, speaker uh, for uh, researchers uh, who are involved in uh, uh, different types of academic research copyright and patents are important patent is mainly for industrial research and copyright is mainly for academic research so many of our researchers are uh, academic researchers uh, and hence they should know little more about copyright so this copyright is different for different countries you should have cop- you should have copyright in india separately for your article you should have copyright in uh, uk separately for your article same article can get copyright separately in different countries in india copyright act is started in 1957 and uh, in the year 2013 they have improved the rules of copyright and it is uh, of go- central government uh, and its office is located in new delhi i have given this number you can go to the copyright uh, uh, website indian copyright website uh, this is at uh, www.copyright.org if the copyright is given to the author then you have your right to apply uh, for copyright to, to your country copyright office so uh, you can submit uh, your uh, copyright i think i have this uh, uh, copyright uh, you have to pay only 500 rupees uh, for uh, submitting the copyright and within 3 months you will get the copyright in your hand uh, a nice certificate of copyright in your name and uh, if anybody copies you can go to the court unless they cite your article uh, on other hand uh, and note that here dora declaration i will take another one minute uh, dora declaration so recently uh, researchers and scientists understood that the journals are fooling the researchers scientists by taking the copyright and making a, a business for them so they came out with their declaration that we will not give importance to the journals we will give importance importance to the articles research outcome uh, while while deciding or ranking uh, the researchers as well as while deciding the project funding for researchers so many researchers agreement dora agreement uh in, during uh, which is uh, that movement is started from 2012 uh, where uh, the scientific literature quality is decided by itself not by the journal where it has been published uh, now you should always think of keeping copyright in your name so that you can apply to the uh, country's copyright office and get copyright in your name the cost is very less only 500 rupees and uh, within 3 months you will get copyright in your hand on other hand if you go for patent uh, patent takes a, a long time stages or four stages in patent you can apply patent for a device new device new substance you developed or new method you developed like uh, social science and business management researchers can show there are new methods for patent they can apply for patent for the new methods for example abcd analysis uh, method is a new method for which i can apply for patent 
but uh, i have applied for copyright initially because i know that applying for patent is a costly affair and a long time taking affair but then for a new process also like in hotel management or in health science if you develop a new process to uh, uh, process the uh, food items you can apply for patent now let us see what is the cost of uh, patenting and what is the time uh, duration uh, for getting the patent uh, so first uh, you should have a uh, information or the research outcome on a new device new substance new method or new process is for physical filing and an article in the predatory journal see the uh, uh, the plagiarism is not checked uh, the uh, understanding or the grammar is not checked the format is not checked whether it is working or not whether it is authentic information uh, is also not checked but still you can publish a patent so i have seen many researchers uh, happily uh, says that i have published 15 uh, patents 25 patents 100 patents but it is as uh, as uh, like uh, publishing in a predatory journal without checking uh, only at the time or the other platform like youtube have beneficial we have some of the question here also in google chat box uh, the one is uh, doctor uh, farhat sonia she is asking that how can we analyze our publication is coming under the latest research or based on a new prospect yeah 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 definitely you can analyze whether you can find out whether your research is new or old uh, by just uh, uh, studying it uh, using keywords whatever the keywords uh, related to your new research you search it uh, in google scholar or any other uh, indexing uh, uh, platform providers like scopus or wos or all and see whether anybody published research papers in that area so if somebody else have also published research in that area then you can compare your results with the other research uh, results and if uh, you can compare and you can decide whether your research is new result or not for example if you are doing research in a particular uh, medicine of a particular disease and if your medicine has a better ability of curing compared to other research, uh, other medicines which are already published then definitely your research is new research on other hand if your result is inferior than other result, results already published then you can need not publish it and you will not publish it also and there is no point of get, get, taking copyright of that article or patent of that invention uh, sir okay. i want hmm. to ask you thank you sir thank you for uh, answering me hmm. i want to ask you one more thing before hmm. starting the research can hmm. we analyze this tool like uh, how to check like if this is the new yeah, new type yeah, of the yeah, research that is called the review of research review of research okay. and identifying okay. current status and knowing what is the ideal status and mm-hmm. the gap gap research gap is the first part okay. so you should find out okay. research gap based on knowing the current status which can be done okay. using a review of literature okay okay sir mm. thank you thank you sir sir one researcher from asha agarwal from rajasthan based on university mm. she is attending via youtube mm. she asked me via in whatsapp that mm. sir i am from mtech communication systems mm. and then doing my phd and also assistant mm. professor in an university in mm. rajasthan mm. my work is related to electronic systems and communications for the society mm. whenever i am submitting my paper people mm. are asking for communication and mathematical modeling mm. so my work is society centric is mm. there any re- essential requirement that the work should have the math- mathematical modeling Uh, I, see in the, as i told there are two types of research one is qualitative second one is quantitative when you do quantitative research you should use all this data and convert this data into information by means of quantitative statistical methodologies okay on other hand if you claim that your work is qualitative work where the outcome of new knowledge or new interpretation are important so you need not hear everyone see people will comment and give 100 suggestions 
but uh, you should stick on solving your research objective for your research problem so your research problem should be solved through your research objective if your research problem is clear if your research objectives and procedures are clear and if your outcome is a solution to your research problem then you need not worry about critical comments or negative comments you can find another journal or you can publish by yourself as a working paper in ssrn or uh, research gates so now the publication models are also changing you need not publish through a journal you can publish as a self publisher through a social research uh, network like ssrn or research gate or many other uh, supporters where you can publish it as a working paper and people will consider it as a research result and they will cite it for their further research so you need not consider every critical comments uh, to be incorporated in your research you should bound to your own research problem and research objectives and research methodology which your guide as well as your other uh, colleagues have suggested okay thank you sir thank you so now i'd like to request professor amit sir to offer the token of appreciation to our respected uh, speaker and also patron of this uh, international symposium uh, amit sir so i think uh, sir is busy so i am sharing or oh, no, sir is okay, sir okay, is okay, sharing now. we are eager to hear professor uh, jk mandal hmm? <laughs> yes thank you sir your but your lecture is enormous and uh, excellent i enjoyed this <clears throat> thank you thank you i received the uh, certificate thank you thank you sir for our rent and we always uh, get motivation from you when most of the vice chancellor and other administrator people only engage in administration you do your own work as a author and also co-author and also you do your administration so we learn lot of thing and i personally say one thing four years back you and jk mandal sir were on the same dais as far as i can remember at raiganj university yeah 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 Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, correct, yeah, 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 sir. Yeah, 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 sir. My, my, my honor, sir, to you and your excellent deliberation today. <laughs> With your, okay. uh, 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 this, uh, 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 what it is called? Uh, uh, With your advices on those days. Hmm? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> best wishes. Nice. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. so now we are moving to our uh, next uh, keynote speaker uh, professor jk mandal sir who is also renowned uh, not only for computer science and engineering but also for different interdisciplinary science sir basically from the university of kollani as a professor previously sir hold the position of uh, dean faculty of engineering technology and management and also the ex director iqc chairman of cirm kalyani university former chairman of computer society of india kolkata and siliguri chapter sir also the chairman of it kolkata and former Uh, Dr. Paul, your voice is not. Uh, I think. Audible. I think a uh, uh, network yes. issue, maybe, sir. Yes. What we can do is, sir, you can start. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. He let him to introduce you, uh, you, in his own way. But you can start your presentation. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'm sharing my. Sorry. Yes, you can share your PPT. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
it became multiple line anyway no problem you go to your i am coming one. yeah i am coming i am coming yes now it is uh, okay coming no sorry it's not this yes one. yes this is okay coming uh, sorry, yes sorry there is some connected issue so as yeah. i discussed this sir uh, done lot of activities in university of pallani and also sir uh, engaged in nr uh, ner sat itanagar then university of north bengal sir has produced 28 phd degrees as of now and two are submitted sir has um, uh, produced eight mphil and um, eight mt 80 mtex and 130 mca dissertation sir is a guest editor of different sci and other index journal of different kind of reputed books sir has received different kind of research grant from aict government of west bengal and other different academic and industry that means i have defined as just in point scale and i have got the graph based on take us so this is called the research for this we have taken the data i have, I have collected the data from the field study of this police station and you have got it for last 5 years and then you have got it so the objective is to gain the familiarity with a phenomena or to achieve new insight into it so you have the formulative research descriptive research sir has already discussed aital sir duty was asking to aital sir on a vice chancellor that some journal houses asking for mathematical model of my output definitely they may ask that means you have to strengthen your validity you have to prove your hypothesis properly then also they may consider here you see that we have another research from my scholars that often we used to see that you see these are the places where some three areas we have used and the tower of the mobile signal and you see innervated zones we are trying to find out so that a new tower can be placed so people are deprived here so we are putting a tower here so that is the research once again this research i have only collected data all that now you see what is this this is a satellite image this image is from sundarban area south 24 parganas of west bengal so you see what are that no roads are there only river channels are there and deltas are there so this is called the jharkhali areas and this is one we have you see we have the sundarban has uh, divided into three zones because this is a heritage area and your uh, royal bengal tiger reserve forest so this is zone 1 where you can have your buildings but zone our objective is that you see we are 98 to 100 types of uh, mangroves are there that is being diminishes what are the mangroves are there and where the tigers may reside you know that we have one type of mangrove which is called the hetal so if hetal forest is there then it is the best place they they, they it is the favorite place for the tiger to stay there so now i am coming to that how do you define that this is a satellite image from there we have classified it and you see the output so we have lot of other things you see we have this is your your output should be your output should be logical your output may testing so when i am going for a research what is the structure of the research the structure of the research is you begin with a broad question sorry you begin with a broad question you narrow down your question and focus it you things and that is called the hourglass notion of research so there are two types of uh, research one is the deductive research and other one is called the inductive research so in deductive research we generate some theory 
that this may happen. Then we call that deductive type of research. And in inductive types of research, you see, you start your observation of some phenomena. You generate the pattern. You generate the hypothesis and you generate the theory. So, bottom up and top down. So, when I am taking a lot of data and going for RNN, CNN, convolution network, so you are observing the data, you are taking a huge amount of data and you are concising with the data with various analysis and you are generating the information for providing theory or whatever the construct you are going to have. Then you formulate your hypothesis about the social world. We are describing some social phenomena in terms of our research. That the experiment for wireless communication has been demonstrated in 1895 at Town Hall, Kolkata by Sai Jagadish Sandabos. But you see Italian inventor, engineer Guglielmo Marconi has demonstrated and marketed the first successful long distance wireless telegraph in 1901. So six years after Sai Jagadish Bos. Then why Jagadish Bos is not named? Still now it is a lot of controversies are there because he did not take the pet. He was not developed at the time. Still now, when I am going 5G, we are using that millimeter wave. Now, most is getting importance. That means the reporting of the research is an important factor. In addition to finding the solution of some problem you have generated from the study of the literature. So, other community, whatever reported and accepted by the fair reviewing fact and the theories. So, that is there. But you have to find out some limitations of that findings in your research. So, we have the qualitative and quantitative research both. So, qualitative research is designed to capture it's claimed that you have some evidence and it is source of ideas. You are you will see that your title, abstract and some search Outcome, what are the limitations? to be so many countries require that food levels are announces this sentence this is need not to cite this sentence previous research has research has previous research has research has shown that the slower kinetics like this from that each institution must be <coughs> in no objection from that chairman of the ethical committee so that you can include that images. Otherwise, publication house will not accept that. Suppose you are working on some animals. Sir. What are the good paraphrasing? Change the order and structure of the sentence. Use synonym or demar you are using so far. You can use some synonyms. So, what are the good paraphrase? You draw from multiple sources. That means avoiding drawing from single source of your information. Do not change the author's meaning. And your source 
should be cited properly. These are some of the paraphrasing I'm just keeping it. See, these are some of the style of writing. You see? This is when I have an equation, we normally don't cite it. But suppose you have taken the citation from a book. You see, you have to cite it. You see, when you are using some software, you have to cite it. You have to give that software. But most of the cases we don't do it, but it is improper. When you are reproducing some tables, you have to cite it properly. You see, when you are using some formulas to compute a table, you respect that article where the formula is there. And you cite that reference also. When you are using some charts, from here you have adopted that. Then you say, what is my voice? Everything is citation, 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 I have to cite, cite. So bring, to bring your voice out in the paper, think of yourself as a moderator of the discussion. You are moderating your writing. Multiple times you rewrite, rewrite and rewrite. You will find out the solutions and you are find out, finding out the perfect paragraph or sentence which is free from plagiarism. Map out your own argument and structure them. And compare and contrast and justify with the existing in terms of your achievement and your advancement. This is some of the things. And this is the site you can download it. This is the URL. So government notifications regarding the plagiarism of government of India. Regulations 2018. You can download it. Giving two tools. One is the Jotero. Jotero is the reference management tools you can use in your MS Word. This is the open source. Where you can cite and write the reference automatically from a paper. No need of typing all these things. You see that we have two things to be downloaded. One is called the Jotero and then Jotero connector. To download this you will get here one icon. It's called the Jotaro icon. And there are three columns, left, center, and right. Left is the library. Center is the results of your collection. And right, the displays the tab where article is there. You can enter. You click on this Jotaro item on your when it is, uh, click on that, it will come. But your searching should be goga scholar.google.co.in, then the article. Otherwise, normal Google, it will not work. Then you put the articles into your library on the left side. Then you see, like this, I have taken this article from the search. Then you see on your word, you have a Jotero extension. It will come automatically after installing that. And they have three tab. Two, three. You see, one is called the Add Citation, Add Bibliography, and your Document Preference. So when you are writing this Add Citation, it will be cited on where it is needed. You put the cursor there, and then after that, all the references will be written automatically. Even if you reduce second references, third references will be automatically second references. And here also it will be changed automatically. Indent will be done automatically. This is one of the tool which is open source tool. You can see it. And another one that how do I know that this paper is worth tool for me? We have another 
digital search assistance ai empowered digital search assistance which is called scholar c this is the spelling of the scholar c here is a ai powered assistant that create the reference paraphrase summaries of your article how i am just coming to that you see here you see you have to install the scholar c scholar c.com is there but this is not open source you see when you are choosing an article here scholar here you see google scholar is not needed suppose i have taken this article you see after choosing the article you see after installing you will get this icon just two vertical bar and one inclined bar this is that you click it here when you are getting seeing the highlights so no need of reading complete paper you are getting the highlights here you see summary introduction conclusion and also related reference whether that reference is open source or not that is also showing here you see so this is one article one uh, tool which is called the scholar c that you can use for your summarization of the existing literature then you if it is like you can take it you can copy it everything but the thing is that whatever coming as a out and take it you can copy it everything but the thing is that whatever coming as a output it is completely plagiarized that means it is taking the keywords from the article so you have to go for a very good paraphrasing extremely exhaustive paraphrasing then you will find it out as a good this is one of the report for the plagiarism you see this is called the individual source and this is called the complete additive component so this is some of the uh, you see when 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 we are getting the results you see with a number how many percentage is there of a particular article with some separate colors you see it is coming so this is i think in short i think time is already over so let me go for questions and thank you for thank you sir it's our uh, privilege to you have our uh, resource person and i am sure that uh, all the researcher got lot of knowledge from the beginning of uh, research publications uh, uh, basics and advance and how to cite and how to refer the things what should be an ideal paper and how to write a research paper and i am sure apart from paper different kind of other research materials also they could uh, used okay we have used we have learned lot of uh, queries and uh, appreciating message in youtube also and also here so any question please ask here if there any question is there yeah you can ask any question any question you could ask there is here okay sir one any question from me you to uh he is a just passed out msc student he has mentioned that he want to start research how he can start by review a paper or by a case study uh anything uh, he can go for it uh but the thing is that uh you have to study the literature first review he can go because he has to go for literature review definitely so from review he, if he can uh, go for uh, citing that review so then uh, it is okay because it's a utilization of the review when you are going for a review that means that has to be done first whatever you are doing you have to go for a review first so from the review you can make a summary of the review and what are the state of the art about that particular field he can come out with some conclusion but there must be some conclusive measure that i have studied 100 paper what is the output of this paper and what is the state of the art 
what is the limitation what can be the future directions then only this article will be good as a literature review article sir one question from here in google uh, meet is there hmm. the software hmm. you told is paid or free this there in google meet. jotero is free jotero is open source but scholarsy is paid software but some uh, i think little are there is for a few days or a few number of downloads for the scholarsy but cost is very less institution can have that so can okay. provide it to the library okay sir so uh, thank you sir for your uh, sir someone is asking for your presentation in youtube from youtube do you have a question they are asking okay. uh, they are requesting you for your presentation is it possible to share me so that i, 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 I have i have my i have my uh, website address i think it is uh, website they can download it jcondal.com okay. you write on the chat box jcondal.com yeah it will it is there it is open <laughs> okay. lot of other materials are also there huh? if you then get so they can mail me i'll send them okay so over to dr uh, professor niyas uh for the vote of thanks to our respected teacher and sir professor jk mandal <coughs> so good afternoon from dr niyas associate professor in stock management and commerce shinwas university being grateful is the essence of success as we have come to the end of the session it gives me an immense pleasure to extend a heartfelt gratitude to our keynote speaker Dr. Jason Kumar Mandela, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, University of Karyani, West Bengal, India, for accepting our invitation, for being here with us today, in spite of your busy schedule. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I am honored to accept this. Sir, please accept talk? this. Yeah, I am accepting. Professor, this. Professor Amit shared this. He is also yeah, the head of the Department of Management. Thank you. I am honored to accept this. Okay. so your thought broken session was especially on the research methodology as guided us more and you have given a practical live example especially this message has given more insight to this international symposium thank you we will surely incorporate your valuable and informative inputs in our publications okay lastly i would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our active participant for your actively participating in the conference is thank you next two speaker only e 30 minutes each and feedback form will be available into next speaker during speech so you have to submit it carefully in order to get the certificate in your registered email within 28 february so now there will be a break and we will return back at 215 thank you thank you everyone
Okay. So if you just take India as the uh, picture, like whatever the share uh, India has about uh, 40, 45,000 percent of the design applications are from uh, Indian region. Maybe especially it deals with tools and machineries. It's a lot of uh, industries works on this. Okay. Furniture and household goods. Even India is also, there is a huge demand for this particular area. And we have also a lot of uh, designs with respect to this particular. Okay. So I'll show some of the examples where even in our day to day life, we use this. This, but we fail to recognize like in what factor it can be utilized effectively right okay so if you take the indian recent design applications filings if you take there are about 14,241 applications has been filed in india in 2021 okay so in similar way in even 2022 also i am sure there will be more than uh, 14,000. okay maybe it, it may touch about 15 to 60,000 possibly okay so there it means if you just look at the gra graph gradually increases day to day if you take 16 17 to 2021 uh, there are about uh, each day each year 2000 4000 increasing number of design applications is going on which means uh, maybe we can say that there is uh, people are uh, looking at the way that they are protecting the intellectual property rights okay yes i think we have seen a lot of uh, uh, articles in and around us. For example, if I take even if in on my table only, I have printer, phone, laptop, mobile, okay, so the water bottle, right, the frames, the biroa, tools or the articles which we are look, looking at around, some kind of intellectual property lies there. Especially if you take this, the articles which we see, there are more about this industrial design. They all come under industrial designs, right? But however, Everything, whatever the design, okay, so new things has to be there, okay. If we make a new variety or new kind of thought process to a particular article, then uh, there may be a chances of that it could be uh, going into the market will be high, the potential will be high, okay. So just look at, for example, uh, just look at the pictures here. Uh, we have some kind of bottles, right, okay, the shape, right, uh, a different type of vases you can say because uh, I mean, most of the people, like if the people are rich, okay, and another important thing is, if you want to show people as rich, we have to use this intellectual property resources only. For example, the RD car, whatever it is, right? Okay, some kind of IP indirectly shows to the public, okay? So just look at the pictures here. See, we have vases, different type of, generally, a plain marble white was was the first initial discoveries okay later on they had been come up here and this can be seen we can see in this particular uh, 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 article forms in cakes nowadays okay a lot of cake manufacturing the configuration the pattern okay so the textile uh, articles all these all this can be seen okay so we have a lot of uh, the especially automobiles which we see in our day to day life almost of all have this industrial design protection Okay, so that's why you see there is a different brand for different company. There is a different shapes, structures for different uh, company automobile. For example, Honda you take, Audi you take, okay. So Hero you take, Bajaj you take. See, all the vehicles have their own kind of uh, structures which has been protected, okay. So most of them are the special appearance of the particular automobiles have been categorized in the, in the industrial designs, okay. So just to look at the pens. See how the innovation uh, has been happening in, in the day to day life. Okay. If we just look at the pens here, nowadays we are coming with the pen drive pen. Okay. So maybe people have been inspired with the fishes. They had been uh, given the shape of the fishes. See, normal because we need to also update, right? So that's the main important. If you just take uh, the example of industrial design as from the uh, Industrial Designs 2000 of Indian, P Indian Design Act. A design is a shape which gives, uh, it's a feature of a shape, configuration, pattern, or ornamentation, or composition of lines applied to any article in the form of 2D or 3D, which can be manufactured in the form of mechanical or manual or whatever it is, okay? The article must be solely judged by the eye and the protection is given for the appearance of the article, okay? So basically, the term design, okay, if you just take the design, especially in the academic research, if we consider, Design means what we do generally, like how they project. You look here. We have we have number of scales. Okay, so some some kind of calculation, some kind of uh, uh, formulations. We do a lot of uh, 
formulations and then we come with the exact load or whatever it is right okay so but that design okay is different compared to the intellectual property designs okay but the origin is same okay so if you consider the origin is same but the way of making the thought process of an engineer design and the protection of engineering design in the intellectual property rights is a little different okay because uh, we do develop uh, the theory scientific problems and then come up with the final product okay but in the in this intellectual property rights the appearance of the article especially the functional aspect okay so how you effectively uh, decoratively create that article is more important here right so that's very very important if you just look at uh, the major uh, components of this industrial designs if you categorize all these comes under the six categories one is the shape of article one is the composition of colors one with the ornamentation one with the composition like for example textile material the configuration like how exact the shape of the particular uh, article is there the patterns which may be in the form of whatever may be the form okay so these are the important components which will fit into the industrial designs right so how an academic fellow has to uh, take a look on this particular aspect. So that's very, very important. For example, textile engineering we have, right? So this textile engineering, while doing the research, they'll come up with their own kind of dice, their own kind of uh, figures, their own kind of facts, right? So they, uh, if it's more, uh, if, if they feel that it was very attractive, okay, so that's a simple concept is more than uh, sufficient to think that this can go for design production, basically, okay? So the conditions will just come in the later, okay? So like this, See, in all these categories, okay, so you should, uh, I mean, the faculty, they they should assume or they should th think that in what category that this particular uh, concept or topic will be applicable. For example, if you take a simple example, since we are, I am from mechanical background, okay, we do a lot of do research on composite materials, metallurgy, okay, and fabrication of materials, right? So in this area, a lot of uh, designs we create. Designs we create basically means we'll just, for example, if, if I take a composite material, I just do mix with some kind of epoxy resins and all those things, agriculture residues. Okay. I make a hard structure and do tensile strength and whatever uh, other kind of tests. Okay. So, which are very suitable for a particular application. Yes, that's correct. Okay. See, the process of making everything which go for patent protection. Okay. See, the but the appearance of article, how it looks, how... Uh, we can make it more attractive uh, in the common use. That's where uh, it's a very important concept where the research researchers has to think and the production or the appearance has to be given to the, the final appearance has to be given to the product. Okay. So that's where this industrial designs come to picture in all these categories. Okay. So the research has to just look out. For example, if you are unable to file a patent, find out any one of the component, whether it can go for design or copyright, right? Okay, so let us see some of the uh, important aspects, like what are the conditions, how a design can be made, right? So in the designs, if you just look at, for example, if I take a mobile phone itself, right? Today, I use a Samsung mobile. So tomorrow, next, immediately, I'll get some more other features. Maybe hardly two years or three years is the life, uh, lifespan of a phone, generally, okay? Uh, which means, the phone will be there for five, 10 years, okay? But we generally change our mobile phones two to three years once because if new update comes in the market, immediately we go for buy, okay? So for buying purpose, if you consider, first we will go with the, for example, if I take mobile phone itself, first I go with the specifications, like how, how much uh, RAM or the camera, okay? So all these parameters I'll make a you note. Know. So then I'll go with the brand because quality is also very, very important, right? So if you want, I mean, Obviously, all the people will select iPhone is their basic priority because the specification, the security, okay, and the brand impact. If you have iPhone in your pocket, people think that you are rich, right? So that's the image that brand. Then finally, I'll come with which color I should buy. either black, according to my Vastu, or uh, red, whatever it is, okay? 
actually the a good stage in the market right so this, this industrial designs makes an attractive point in the market and it's a his design targets a specific market segments for example if i take a simple watch see the kids like uh, the watch which has some kind of uh, uh, pictures on that okay so the professionals like the digital watches okay okay so even though they select their particular topic okay uh, the, the same criteria but the appearance of each and every article is different okay so we use day to day in our life so this kind of uh, effect you will be there in the industrial designs and obviously they create a new market niche okay so and the strengthening brands will always be there in this industrial designs along with the trademarks the monopoly of this industrial designs is for 10 years it may be extended to 5 years if required otherwise 10 years the monopoly where within 10 years you should do whatever you want maybe you can lease license or sell whatever you want to do with the industrial property of a design if you just take uh, obviously the same uh, topics will come here that is the market strategy enhancement and it add a commercial value to the product okay so same uh, products which are there in the market but which company product has to buy for example chairs you take okay so, so a lot of uh, chairs we can see but only few like uh, depend upon the circumstances we go and select the chairs right okay so that's how uh, and the most and final important intellectual asset var we can sell e sinwas university student branch he also presented more than 50 papers in the national and international conference also authored five book with isbn number authored chapter for more than 10 books on behalf of organizing committee i welcome you sir thank you, thank you sir uh, i request dr professor mr professor to conduct panel session on on the topic of ipr type and benefits okay thank you thank you niyaz sir for a introduction am i audible sir yes yeah, sir you are audible but some disturbance yeah that is here uh, cultural day is going on that's why i was seeing a few but still some noise is there i think yeah a lot of disturbance we are finding it but uh, Okay, sir. You can proceed. Okay. my topic is intellectual property rights uh, types and benefits already in the morning session and afternoon session many of the authors and uh, pen, uh, keynote uh, speakers already discussed the, these topics so almost uh, 70% of the my topic is already covered still i will uh, try to put some new concept uh, in my uh, new concept in the sense of uh, which is not uh, discussed in uh, earlier sessions so as we know intellectual property is rights are the given to persons over the creation of their minds so as we know we have a property of uh, movable immovable properties so same way uh, ipr is a property which is created by our innovation and uh, through the brain or may mind so they usually give the creator an exclusive right over the use of his or her creation for a certain period of time so as we know patent is having a life span of 20 years and uh, design is 10 years after that we have to renew it. so same way every ipr is having from a uh, uh, certain period of time after that either we have to renew or uh, it will be moved to the public so in the patent after 20 years that will be become public property and uh, uh, anyone can use so 20 year only life span whereas copyright we have 60 years and after the death also 
uh, the person enjoys the copyright in his name. So we have uh, in India 20 type, uh, seven type of VPRs, eight, which is the uh, combined uh, one is carbon uh, trade, uh, the trade secret, um, is a combination patent, trademark, and uh, copyright. So the, that is combined. Uh, actually, we have independently seven, and uh, seven there are acts also: patent act, copyright act, design act, then uh, uh, industrial design mark act, act, plant warranty protection act, layout design, uh, or integrated circuit act. So every act uh, protects uh, the type of uh, IPR from misusing. So patent is an exclusive right to make, use, sell, transfer, or import. It is a terrestrial in nature and having 20 years of lifespan. That means uh, that is uh, whatever we file patent in India, that is not having a, uh, that is protection in America or other countries. We have to file their own country's uh, patent office in order to enjoy or in order to sell our product or uh, uh, any that is especially product uh, in their countries. So copyright is an IPR, which is very easy to create out of this uh, seven um, seven IPRs. So copyright is an IPR to the creator of original work of authorship, such as literary work, uh, which includes uh, computer program also, and uh, which may be expressed in words, codes, schemes. So whatever if we publish and paper and if we keep our copyright with us only if you are not giving copyright to the uh, that is uh, publish, then we can file a copyright uh, for our paper a trademark is consisting of a recognizable sign design or expressions so we can sign or logo or design or some expressions or some catchy words we can use uh, as a trademark whereas industrial design our previous uh, uh, invited speaker has explained in detail uh, regarding in industrial design so makes a product look attractive so by design we make the product attractive and appealing to customer and may even be it is a unique selling point so using that uh, industrial design uh, the company uh, produced company can sell that product easily with that industrial design with their name. So protect the appearance of the product against copying and infringement. And the geographical indications is another IPR used on product that have a specific geographical origin. So one of the example I can say like uh, Palani Panchamritam that is uh, that's geographical location only. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, that uh, others cannot uh, uh, prepare the Panchamritam in that uh, uh, ratio or in that way, uh, then it uh, becomes infringement. So geographical indication is especially to pr particular area. Uh, we'll see some geographical indications. Then plant variety protection, that is another type of IPR. So, uh, we have a, in India the uh, right, uh, uh, Protection of Plant Variety and Farmer Right Act 2007, which is uh, the motto of or aim of that uh, plant variety protection is to protect uh, Indian farmers to provide uh, protection to plant varieties, whatever they develop or cultivate, in order to encourage the growth and development of more plant varieties. So Indian government expect uh, more plant variety from the agriculturist. Uh, so for that, in order to support them, we have a Plant Variety Protection Act. Then layout design, that is another type of IPR, the Semiconductor Integrated Circuit Layout Design Act 2000 is defined as a product having transistors and other circuitry element. So for integrated circuit or layout design, we should have a integrated uh, circuit with the transistors which are uh, inseparably formed on a semiconductor material or an insulating material 
or inside the semiconductor material and designed to perform electronic circuitry functions. That is what definition of the semiconductor integrated layout design IPR. We will see here um, uh, in diagrammatical way intellectual property different type patent, copyright, trademark, geographical indications, industrial design, layout design, plant variety protection and uh, another one is trade secret which combines copyright, patent and trademarks. So you can see the symbols uh, used in IPR. Some of them are true symbols, uh, others can be actually not a symbol, which we can say as uh, some examples also. So copyright, uh, we use uh, uh, C with the uh, one circle. Uh, this is trademark register. Then uh, this is uh, patent uh, uh, and uh, registered. This is geographical uh, indications. This is uh, an example for uh, layout design or integrated circuit design then uh, this is a uh, uh, design uh, one and uh, this is a uh, example for uh, one uh, that is plant variety uh, protection plant variety protection so like this in india we have eight type of iprs so including trade secret so trade secret is combination of copyright patent and uh, uh, that is copyright and patent uh, uh, and design. So here we can see some examples for uh, different uh, type of IPRs. So this is an IPR initially developed, which is a patent for a uh, first car. So you can see the words first car in 1886, Benz patent motor wagon. So that was uh, considered as a first car, not a cycle. And uh, this is patented in uh, 1886. Then some trademark, you can see trademark means uh, uh, these are the examples for trademark, Intel inside, Sony, then Microsoft, Coca-Cola, even that words, how they write, that is uh, trademarked. And uh, uh, some uh, logos and some words and some catch catching words we refer as trademark. So a trademark may be designed by the following symbols for an uh, unregistered trademark that is a mark used to promote or brand goods we use a uh, trademark like that then if it is registered we use a tm with r that means trademark is registered so you can see different uh, types of trademark for a shape and uh, we have a name for that Coca-Cola and uh, uh, symbol and the color also. So when we design, it is uh, in patent uh, trademark act uh, or trademark uh, uh, method, they say that uh, in our, while applying uh, for a trademark, we usually have to apply in uh, with the black and white color. So why? Because with the same, uh, if somebody changes the colors, then they may also have a one chance to get a trademark. So to avoid that, it is always better while designing. So, so sometime we need in different colors, but uh, better uh, if we use uh, in trademark uh, when we design or develop, which if it is black and white, then to, uh, by changing the color, they cannot get a new trademark. So that are some uh, conventions and methods, uh, effective methods we follow while designing or developing a trademark. So you can see some other trademark like uh, abstract mark, uh, then uh, KFC, then uh, Burger King, uh, emblem logo, and uh, pictorial mark, and Google, Google is also, the uh, this word is a trademark, which is called as word mark. So like this, we can file patent, uh, sorry, uh, trademark for symbols, some catchy words, and uh, logos, all these things comes under trademark. So if you see geographical indications, some of the geographical indications registered in India during 29-10, uh, uh, 2004 to 31-1, uh, 2006, we'll see some Darjeeling tea, that is uh, some West Bengal geographical indicator 
then possibly uh, the textile then uh, uh, kota dorai uh, textiles kanjipuram silk that is in uh, geographical location of tamil nadu then uh, mysore agarbatti that is uh, uh, mysore karnataka state uh, like this we have uh, different geographical indicators that has a scope only in that geographical location whereas if we file uh, any patent uh, that enjoys in throughout the india so here uh, mainly this uh, ipr is geographical in nature even patent is having geographical nature but uh, that is if you file on so entire india which is uh, enjoys the protection here geographical indications only to the particular region so solar chad uh, solpur uh, chadar then solapur uh, terry towel mysore silk like this uh, uh, kangra tea uh, kurg orange like this we have plenty of geographical indicators or indications which is only to the particular geographical regions so you can see some uh, industrial design already this is uh, covered in the previous session so i don't want to uh, explain more on that already the uh, all the audience are knowing this and uh, no need to much uh, explain much more because already we have discussed okay this is some examples for uh, industrial design then uh, layout design if you see which is uh, it should include a transistor and a circuit board so layout design is uh, another type of ipr and intellectual property right on plant varieties so that is especially boom for the uh, agriculture or farmers to help their new plant varieties we are pro protecting india is protecting their uh, that is pl uh, plant varieties through the intellectual property rights on plant varieties that are having separate uh, act and law to protect uh, their new uh, plant varieties so patent type in australia is uh, different it is uh, the type of patent in different country is uh, different whereas in india we have seven plus one combined eight patent uh, types whereas in australia you can see around uh, trademarks so like this uh, the australian patent office having uh, uh, nine types instead of our eight types so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine types of patent in australia so the difference between trademark and trade secret so already i have told trade secret is formed by combining one or more type of iprs so trademark is the name of product and services are protected by uh, trademarks so infosys that name and uh, uh, their logo is uh, protected by trademark word symbols logos designs slogans trade dress numbers graphics drawings three dimensional elements all these are comes under trademark but trade secret means trade secret are a type of intellectual property that includes uh, things like patent copyright and trademarks combined so a formula um, technique gadget machine collection of data all this becomes trade or any other property in data provides from so the one more trade mark registration offers protection for an uh, indefinite time however uh, that needs to be renewed for example uh, that is uh, design has to be renewed after 10 years uh, the eighth type of trade ipr followed in india uh, trade secret is defined by combining more than one type of iprs so we have seven act trade secret here. for that uh, having act for patent act copy act and mark so each other seven years in their own act and through that uh, law we can protect the uh, iprs so sir, recently uh, started uh, this time uh, in january started one introduction to patent uh, ipr uh, course 
uh, of course, the new um, research scholars, those who are having interest in IPR, can register the particular course and you can enjoy and you can, which is uh, having some new code, uh, then you can apply for software copyright. I have one software copyright and my name and uh, um, it is very easy to file. You yourself can file. So recently, uh, the, to the central government has uh, uh, made notification for trademark exam and uh, uh, design, uh, sorry, trademark and patent exam. Uh, last date was 31st January, but uh, they have extended to another month, Lord, 28th. Can raise um, those who are interested. The criteria eligibility is uh, minimum 21 years, and uh, uh, they should have a uh, degree. And uh, patent exam means they should be have some science degree. So you can see some India IPO building offices: Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata, and. Uh, as we know, background of the intellectual property, property having tangible and intangible, uh, tangible measurable, which is uh, like movable car, immovable uh, like building, whereas intangible uh, as like our previous author, uh, sorry, previous uh, 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 invited talk, uh, we have, he has uh, mentioned uh, that is intellectual property uh, is uh, created through our mind and uh, uh, that nobody can uh, steal it uh, he, uh, if it is protected and registered, whereas other property we don't know whether we get uh, or not. Uh, after, uh, as uh, he mentioned, rightly mentioned, he, what is difference between uh, tangible and intangible, especially uh, movable, immovable and uh, intellectual property. So under intellectual property, we have two classification commercial value. That is in simple how we can define IP. IP is a creative ideas and expressions of the human mind, means intellect that have commercial value. So what can do with the IPR? Become a patent agent, any science graduate. Uh, so this point, uh, I hope uh, I have listening from morning. Uh, nobody has pointed, uh, so at least uh, um, some five point, uh, if I can able to explain, um, present uh, which is not mentioned from morning. So I have got uh, um, my presentation on last uh, slot. So almost uh, all the topics are covered by previous uh, uh, previous speakers. So become patent agent. Any science graduate can become a patent agent. Patent drafting specialist, draft patent speci specification and claims. <coughs> then uh, become trademark copyright uh, law graduate, uh, patent uh, valuers, expert to decide market value of the patent on basis of various financial metrics. So this is the job options scope uh, you are having by studying the IPRs. What can do with the IPR? Pa patent analyst, uh, analysis of invention and patent with the intricacy uh, of uh, technology, licensing specialist, licensing of patents, patent uh, legal process outsourcing. You can join a government IPR office. You can file a patent, design copyright, IPR policy, IPR cell, and uh, patent agent can file international patent application. That is uh, PCT on behalf of Indian applicant. That is another advantage uh, from the patent agent. Patent agent exam is not so easy. It is a uh, uh, rigorous uh, outsourced to Indian patent agent from US, Canada, Australia, and Europe. Then very attractive remuneration or salary package for a registered patent agent in India. And one more area where uh, this uh, engineering students can co concentrate means uh, that is patent uh, uh, examiners. So even now I can write a patent agent exam, but I cannot become uh, a patent examiner that is i hope for 35 or 40 35 years uh, for general merit uh, whereas a student who passed uh, btech can, btech can uh, apply for patent uh, agent and patent uh, examiner which is separate examination uh, 
they evaluate the patent filed the patent in patent office so patent agent can star start their own ip law firms and consultancy service chances to work english uh, speaking foreign law firms as in house drafting attorney and uh, scope of patent examiner as i mentioned a candidate must have attained the age of not less than 21 years and must not have attained the age of 35 years that is uh, for a patent uh, examiner not for the patent agent uh, after 21 years even after 50 years you can write a patent uh, um, agent and you can become a legally patent agent after that you have to register by paying around uh, 2000 i op uh, you have to register yourself you will get a uh, one patent registered number agent uh, registered number in your name so upper age limit of 35 will be relaxed up to 40 years in case of government service and uh, uh, depending on the caste not for general merit uh, special uh, master degree or bachelor's degree in the relevant discipline from a recognized body is a must and uh, uh, most of the uh, parents and uh, students are not aware of uh, the patent examiner scope and salary it is around in india uh, 130000 uh, per month uh, 134 to 170800 in 2020 so they enjoy a very good salary package for a patent examiner but uh, a real hard work dedicated work is required to uh, pass patent examiner uh, examination then trademark agent examination one can become a trademark agent by passing the qualifying examination so now uh, it is open till uh, uh, february 28 the trademark uh, examination uh, uh, will be on tentatively may uh, that is open and uh, uh, those who are uh, qualified can apply for uh, trademark agent examination and patent agent examination so this is a official ipo website uh, ipindiagovernment.in where we can find lot of informations and uh, um, there are uh, uh, all the uh, new things and how to apply where to apply uh, some guide like this uh, if you have filed uh, any patent uh, you can search in patent search and you can uh, uh, see whether it is uh, Uh, reg registered uh, whether it is published so usually to publish uh, normally it takes 18 months for a patent but if you are uh, filing through early publication by paying a special fee then uh, your patent may be uh, published within 3 months also so uh, that is depending on how fast you need you can file a provisional patent uh, if you want to protect your new concept then uh, you just uh, uh, for a, a complete patent you need all the information but provisional patent you don't need much information and uh, the within one year 12 months you have to file the complete patent otherwise it will be uh, no value it will be uh, just uh, vanished out so uh, you have to file within a year uh, the complete patent once you filed <laughs> provisional patent you can publish usually patent uh, and uh, publication paper publication is uh, in paper publication you have to publish to reach to the uh, uh, similar area researchers whereas in uh, patent until you uh, provisionally register that provisional registration uh, if you are not doing then you cannot publish your ideas otherwise uh, someone will copy your idea so that is uh, what is how uh, we are of research so no one can copy once you are you are enjoying the royalty paid and if it is having industry applicability patent is uh, should have three condition uh, three uh, criteria one is industry applicability novelty and inventive step if you patent follows these three uh, then uh, patent office will uh, grant the patent the, uh, not only this but these are uh, 
main criteria uh, one is uh, novelty it should be new and uh, another one is industry applicability uh, the patent uh, should have industry application and uh, it should be useful to the society and it should not be too costly um, then uh, uh, novelty industry applicability and inventive step it should have uh, some uh, inventive steps how you designed and uh, some algorithm or flow chart way it should have a inventive steps simple mer uh, applications or design or a product you cannot file as a patent it should have a proper inventive steps i hope uh, um all sir uh, is my time up yes sir uh, thank you so much okay. we learned lot of things and you covered lot of things new particularly this patent related and ip related job designations this yeah, is also yeah. that is uh, this research is research scholar uh, engineering uh, this is this is also very uh, good thing and uh, new to me some of the things uh, and i am sure many students from ug and pg they are listening they are attending and uh, them they are, they are uh, this time they learn in additional things from you uh, so sir one thing i want to ask regarding the patent agent you said yeah. that the candidate should be the science uh, background yeah yeah, yeah. Suppose, they should have suppose, a msc yeah suppose he or she may be fine arts candidate hmm. because uh, ipr is uh, also fine arts related areas are also issued Correct. so why they are not eligible to be a patent agent no, no, what is it your is, opinion uh, in the uh, rules uh, indian patent office they made uh, uh, patent is especially technical so technical knowledge they should have that's why they are telling msc bsc any science degrees are uh, uh, eligible but uh, non science degrees not eligible okay one thing some yeah. degrees are don't come with science nomenclature like bca yeah if it is bsc computer science bsc it then it yeah. is bsc so yeah. if it is bca what is your opinion the according to norms it is they are eligible yeah, according to the norms i hope bca is also not eligible it is not comes under uh, some pure science uh, yes i know but uh, 100% i don't know bca if they say science uh, stream okay so sir a lot of things we learn and i am sure those who are interested uh, few people have requested me for your ppt could you please share in the whatsapp group you already there okay uh, okay, okay these some uh, uh, some uh, uh, slides are as, uh, actually from uh, ni uh, uh, that is uh, rg ni ipm so the, in the 40 hour session they have given me and uh, i have used that uh, same slide by changing some of the slides so i think uh, i can uh, if i can able uh, to share i will share because uh, they say uh, it should not be shared completely so i'll see sir. okay sir so whatever is possible is share you share so the new learn islands can learn okay, okay okay sir whatever possible i will share by removing some of the slides okay any question from the audience then ask the otherwise we will offer the token of appreciation to professor krishna prasad k for his outstanding presentation and enriching us by his knowledge we had sir we had here a uh, uh, traditional day so i don't know whether uh, uh, you are able to hear me there were some noises okay my uh, from my end noise is coming no no not from your end uh, my presentation was audible yes yes it was fine. very fantastic very nice lot no, of no, no, here lot system. of noise is there outside i okay, thought uh, that every noise... every so sir we are offering you the token of appreciation okay, okay thank to you. you thank you thank uh, you on yes, behalf of this uh, international uh, symposium organized by senior university and astrak university and karnataka state council professor podipta das is uh, joined with us sir uh, please uh, propose a vote of thanks and i am sharing the token of appreciation to him Thank you, Dr. Uh, Prantosh Kumar Pal. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Uh, Krishna Prashad K, Professor and Head, Department of Cyber Security and Cyber Forensics, CH, Srinivas University, Mangalore. 
has given a very uh, informative lecture on IPR types and bits. And the lecture was very informative. A uh, lot of informations were there. Those who are working uh, or doing research work in the field of any uh, science or technology, they can easily go for the IPR patenting or copyright patenting, design patenting from his deliberation. I think uh, all the participants uh, will be benefited from his uh, talk. So thank you very much, sir, for your time and thank your- you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I accept the, uh, the token of appreciation, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank and uh, this is the time for honoring our uh, plenary session chair, Professor Podipto Dash, uh, who is the associate professor in the Department of Computer Science uh, in Assam Central University. Podipto Das is, uh, is a part of Albert Einstein School of Physical Science there. And he has, those who are my students, my UG and PG students, I want to say you that uh, Podipto Das is ever about uh, 15 years back to me during my research early days. He has very encouraging person and lot of things we did together until we are continuing this. So I am fortunate enough that uh, Podipto Das is available now and uh, has given uh, his consent and did his job uh, nicely. And uh, I uh, offer this token of appreciation uh, to him. Sir, if it is visible, kindly accept this on behalf of this international symposium. Yes, yes, thank you. I accept it. Thank you. Thank you, and we will mail to you also. So this is the last stage. Uh, I would like to request all the committee members, those who are present over here and those who have performed their duties and job responsibility from the morning. It's a long session because two day session, tomorrow is the paper presentation session. Once again, I would like to thank the entire community of Sinivas University, Azteca University and Karnataka State Council for their valuable inputs and also enriching uh, different kind of knowledge session. So with this, we are concluding this session. I am thankful the organizing committee members. We will send the certificate of the organizing committee by email and also those who have attended and submitted feedback link, we will also offer them the certificate of appreciation to all of you by the registered post. Uh, so thank you once again, those who are paper presenter kindly join tomorrow in the schedule is given the Google Meet link, digital link. So please join tomorrow and uh, enrich this international symposium successful as much as possible. Thank you once again for your time and patience from the morning. Thank you. Jai Hind.